looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two wrists They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu That mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable essay I mean, I've tried everything Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two wrists They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu That mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable essay I mean, I've tried everything Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the ground. Hello, everybody, and welcome in to ECAC Esports. We're bringing you, of course, the quarterfinals 
of this fall 2022 season i'm visionary one alongside me today is orbital brother how are you doing tonight i'm doing all right very excited to be here excited to get underway with even more playoffs action because i mean the, these teams have got some spicy spicy history at least in their own representative brackets so i mean i'm excited i'm super excited I am as well. Obviously, this is kind of an upset matchup that we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. uh, Louisiana Tech coming in as the 11 seed to owed uh, the 6 seed University of Albany A team, of course. And then GVSU coming in, taking down the 3 seed Scarlet Tempest Red Knights. By the way, that, that was a 2-0 as well so the three yeah. seed just got dumpstered here we are 14 versus 11 in the quarterfinals and i have a feeling maybe those matches those are ones that we want to sit there and go okay maybe we got to go back and actually watch the games right because i feel like these upper you know eight to ten teams they are going to put up a fight but you are right it still doesn't take away from the fact that they were able to 2-0 multiple teams that are very important to watch for us so the fact that we currently have upsets on this side of the bracket, mind you, the rest of the side of the bracket still have a lot of the top seeds. Uh, I believe first seeds are still in there as well. Um, I'm terrified, and I'm so sad that both these teams are not going to meet further on as well, because I think it'd be hilarious to watch these two teams battle out for like the semifinals or finals. But alas, they are here in the quarterfinals to give us a show. Yeah, it definitely is sad, but the one, two, and four seeds are still standing strong, so we're going to see how that remains, of course, after this week as well. Just so much action going on, so many Valorant games happening. It's definitely a very exciting time to be a part of ECAC League, of course. And with that, I believe we have our picks and bands ready to roll out to see what maps we're going to be on today. And the big one for me, we are starting out on Breeze. Oh, and I love it, right? Uh, this is one of the last times, one of the few last times that you're actually going to see this in the competitive map rotation. So to be able to see it brought out here is going to be a lot of fun. And of course, for the fact that it's uh, it's starting to feel like a GBSU kind of meta pick for themselves. Uh, they really do enjoy Breeze. They've done very well on it uh, their last few matches as well. So the fact that they get it first should give them a little bit of a leg up over Louisiana Tech. I mean, that's just the benefit of being the higher seed, correct? You come in as mm -hmm. the 11, you get that first pick and or ban, and you get to go ahead and knock off Breeze. And you're like, yeah, you know what? This is a map that we've done well on. We're going to continue bringing it out in Orbital. I think we can both speak to this. We haven't seen it a lot for the entirety of the season in between all the teams that we've casted. Breeze has not been something that I think I casted until last week, so I'm definitely excited to see that. <laughs> Obviously, after that, we're going to get the college mainstay Haven. Everybody plays Haven in College Valor, and everybody loves it, myself included. I'm not going to talk any mess about it because i actually really enjoy the difference of being able to have three sites to hit and then ironically enough bind and icebox get banned out and orbital if we make it that far we're going to pearl for a tiebreaker of all things of all things you gotta go underwater see you can hold their breath the longest in a nail biter that's gonna be so much fun right it, i love it i love that fact that we get such a nice dynamic between all the maps here um and again, the fact that we're going from Breeze to Haven, I agree. Three uh, three sites is important, but it's more important that it gives us a great uh, show of the flexibility of the teams, right? The teams are going to go from Breeze, which is, you know, hopefully a more uh, Grand Valley uh, kind of lock on there, to a map that everyone should know at this point, right? So yeah. that's what I'm very, very excited about to see, the team's flexibility and understanding, because if you make it to the finals, you better be able to play all these maps. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's certainly there. Obviously, a pocket pick of Breeze definitely lends itself in favor of somebody like Grand Valley. But we're going to see Chamber on both sides. And if you didn't know, he Ooh. was nerfed into oblivion with the patch today. Uh, the trademark now has range. It could be recalled much like Killjoy's Alarm Bot. The operator now shoots at an operator pace instead of at a martial pace. And there's only <laughs> one teleporter that you can actually place. So the range on that has been reduced as well. However, with that being said, Del Taco is so cracked with Chamber and that Headhunter, I don't think it's really gonna matter. No, and that's something that we do have to talk about. So the reason Chamber got nerfed is it felt like Chamber could do everything with very little repercussions, right? It was uh, low input for high output, and that's why we see a lot of these changes come through. And I'm going to say this because I'm I I'm kind of one of those players that really enjoys the standstill, take a shot, and then run away afterwards, right? I'm very much a sniper fan. And Chamber felt like that agent that is very important, and you can hold down a singular site and then can work your way out from there. Uh, and you can, you, know, you can go ahead and set up all your tech if you need to, all your util, wherever you would like. But you have to be selective about it, right? There was too uh, there was too much leeway in what you could do. So the fact that they nerfed it, it feels like you just have to be a bit better and a bit more uh, on the point like that. 
<laughs> like I said, Del Taco is one known for that headhunter for those headshots. The haunt's going to come out as well. The spam coming through double doors inside of bridge. We're going to see off taking out the spike carrier, though, here in between just the mess of Viper walls that always seems to happen on Breeze as the push up to continues to happen. Del Taco finds two more, and now oh. it's going to be a 3v2 in favor of GVSU. And uh, I think I think you were singing the praises of GBSU way before we even started this match, Visionary. And I gotta agree, Del Taco looking smooth on that, and that's a that's a very scary point. And even Sarks is like, bro, like why would you do this to me? It's now gonna be found out here. Sarko is able to find two though, sending it right back and saying, listen, Del, I got some answers for you too, down to a two v one. Yeah, certainly does. That's going to be a good wall as well to protect the spike carrier. We're going to get try to get on site as Sakara just the spam oh. through the Viper wall. It's not going to happen for him, unfortunately. Del Taco, no reason to save all, is going to find his third as well. And Louisiana Tech's going to hold on. I definitely liked what I saw, especially, I mean, off just kind of ratting out in that corner on a site, able to get three that round just to match Del Taco, right? I think that's the, the big thing you have to do in this matchup to shut down Grand Valley State University. You have to find a way to at least match the firepower of Del Taco. Off does it round one. It's super vital and they're able to pick up the win. Such a clean, clean move right there. And <clears throat> as you said, very important because Del popped off. The rest of the team did not. The rest of the team kind of got pushed to the wayside. So, hard agree there. Very nice match by Louisiana Tech. And they give themselves great opportunities out. We did see a teleport right there. So, Grand Valley uh, losing out on that chamber util. And you see Louisiana there spread very deep with that passive, uh, kind of passive cleanup here. And Jurassic is now going to get flushed out of here. It's a hard chase on to B for the fight. And Jeton says, not today. Sarko lines it up and knocks them all down. As a cleanup on aisle B, let me make it look easy here. I'm so I'm curious, right? Because Breeze is, you know, the the definition of long sightline maps, and we actually just got a small Spectre nerf as well from 30 meters plus, and now only does 20 damage. Are we seeing these two Aries come out to play those long angles? Because both the players that were using them were on B site. Oh, you know what? You know what? I I, I have a feeling it might have been <laughs> just a little bit called out. They're like, listen, we're good, we're good. They're gonna go for it. We're gonna be there to to wait for it and see. But you know, with the with the Spectre Nurse, I the fact that the spray's got a little bit locked down, I don't think is gonna be too much cause for issue. Uh, it still covers enough ground, still brings out a lot of power behind it. So I'm very very excited to see how well they play with it. And again, that was again a little bit of that anti eco. So you know, not much taken away from there. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can't take everything away, but seeing Ares on any map over a Spectre is kind of a surprise on an anti-eco, right? I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's not that it doesn't happen. It just happens a lot less often as you see this push coming in through a main right now. The drone is going to be coming out as well. It's not going to find anything. The owl drone not going to find it as Ares going to get oh. flashed. There is a lot of damage there. Spike carrier is killed, but Del Taco is there for the trade. And the fact that you kill the spike planter as well is one of the more frustrating moments, I think. Uh, for the side of Grand Valley, and now they're kind of put into this awkward scenario. And Del Taco is sitting with only three HP. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be in for a world of pain here. And there it is again. But the spike is laid down this time, so Auth very happily takes that one. Louisiana Tech still fading out for a little bit more. Three v three. Jurassic not really gonna find any information. Oh, well there it is for mid. I mean, they know Luff is definitely in mid now. Obviously, you have the, the Molly lineups coming out as well from the Viper using the, those snake bites to brilliance. Is Luff going to get picked off in mid? So I think the gun is just going to be secured here. Are they going to go for the defuse? Or are they just going to save this gun knowing that those snake bites are going to be used? It looks like you're going to chase. Um, <laughs> I'm I, Again, I'm also not sure if you're actually supposed to, but it is going to be Grand Valley. They go ahead and claim their first here, and you're very happy about that one, keeping the status quo, right? It is not uh, it's not exactly unheard to go 2-1 at the beginning of a Valorant match, so you're happy about it, right? Very nicely done. The problem, of course, is Grand Valley. They lost a few more people than they probably would have liked, so going to have to try and rebound up. And Jeeton, of course, this is what I wanted to see. The op coming out to play, very nice purchase, and Del Taco will do the same uh, with that nerfed uh, tour de force. Going to be nice to see how the two match up. Who gets the higher firepower and the higher output coming into this fourth round? 
oh, I want to see both these players ego peek this, and it's not going to happen. <laughs> I was hoping we would get the two battle that we all deserved, but you're right, though. Grand Valley at an economic disparity right now. A couple of light shields out, especially on Luff, obviously, because those prowlers bring up so much, you, I mean, just so much value, is that's actually going to be a shot right there. It's going to take down the Owl Drone from Louisiana Tech, and as Del Taco kind of creeps back to A main, they have to know what's going on, and this wall is going to stifle a lot of progress yeah. as well and cut off that sight line from the operator. And the fact that Grand Valley are taking this one, <clears throat> I would say extremely slow, is, you know, a choice that they're going to make, but it, it leaves Louisiana Tech kind of worried about what goes on. And here we go. This is what we were wanting. In goes that wall on the attackers and now defenders. Complete poison lineups on both sides. And it's going to be Grand Valley. They're still trying to work their way in, not willing to fully commit, giving enough time for Louisiana Tech to rotate around. Spike Bear is still wondering if they actually want to go A or not. And... The longer they wait, the more it is a force commit. There we go. In they go. And just wandering. No one dead yet. Which is insane to me. There we go. Arax able to find Auth. And Arax signs a second behind there. And I, I mean, I, I don't want to. I just feel like the rotation was just a beat slow from the players on B. Because you had both Chamber yep. and Viper there. But now they're able to come back. Reconvene. And Luff's actually yeah. going to take down the Operator. That's going to be massive. As on backside right now. Great one tap right there from Jurassic on the low HP Arax. We're going to see Sarko Ooh. able to lurk from mid. This is actually going to be a potential for a retake right here. Even though it's a 2v3, they have the utility to pull this off. As Dive finds one. Dive Perfect. finds two from behind the large pyramid in the back of the site and Grand Valley gonna be able to secure that. And they don't lose much because Del Taco now has the opportunity to buy that operator with light shields. Actually gonna choose to rifle here though. I'm not really surprised by that. Del Taco <clears throat> pretty much cracked with whatever he brings to the table and he's still being aggressive with this chamber, which is what I like to see. Even with all the nerfs that happened, he is still coming out. He's still being aggressive, taking those opening duels because if you didn't notice from before, there's no duelist on the side of Grand Valley State University. Nope, not at all. You are just happily cat. Well, I mean, <laughs> we we can call lazy one or the other. I think uh, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be nasty. So we're taking a look here in Louisiana Tech. I mean, they are in that soft uh, save here and just wondering what the heck they're gonna do. But I like the point that you uh, pointed out here, Grand Valley. They are going to be a little bit more forward. They don't need uh, that crazy off power just yet. What they do need to worry about is, of course, that that sheriff biting right into Del Taco's face. Yeah, I mean, he was a little bit low as Arax gets a perfect lurk, of course, from Halls is that Molly is going to slow down the push as well. And Luff's going to get the pick off onto the Neon, onto Lacey there as they continue to go back. And I I think it's a good point that you bring up as well, though, right? When you don't have those duels, what a shot by Luff right there into Tube. But when you don't have those duelists, right, you play three initiators so you can get all the intel possible. If you notice, they're running a Fade and a Sova simultaneously. So you have to deal with the Prowlers. You have to deal with the Aldron. You have to deal with so much when you're trying to come mm. on to site. And also, Louisiana Tech lost their Vipers pit this round as well. It was used on B main, and it's another A hit from Grand Valley State. Yeah, this is... It's keep, it's keeping within that same kind of, okay, we know we can hit A pretty hard, and uh, I was mistaken, right? I was looking at I was looking at Louisiana Tech for some reason when you were saying that statement, so hard agree, right? Grand Valley got to be a little bit more forward with their aggression, with their agent selection as well, so I, I really do appreciate it. Now... The question is, is how much are they going to get away with this, right? So I'm still waiting for Louisiana Tech to kind of wake up here and uh, give us that grand show. Sarko, though, opting for that judge, and I, I'm surprised to say that because usually we see the judge if you have the Viper's Pit ready to go. And you're like, okay, I'm going to you know, use it to kind of lurk around inside the pit. Going to be playing at close quarters and hoping for a bit of value and instead lead the rest, the rest of Louisiana Tech. GVSU, though sitting up with a very solid start here two rounds in a row three yeah, actually, and, and all. yeah and they're staring right down the barrel of a site again and they're uh, ju they're just gonna hit it until it work or it doesn't work honestly orbital they're just waiting yep. here and you have jurassic on this very deep off angle right because they know that halls has been lurked but there comes of course the null command gonna be able to do something and now those prowlers got their hp taken away from them as well so it's a little bit easier to shoot Ooh. his off is gonna pick off arax lacy's gonna find luff as well and your entrance is just completely gone shock dart gonna come out take a little bit off of lacy but the shots are Aww. there the shots are true lacy's gonna find another just camping here on the back of the pyramid it's a phenomenal job by LA Tech to go ahead and shut this push down and that started with a great job from Auth finding that null commanded uh, KO on the other side 
The question is, can Grand Valley gather anything else back? They have not gotten the plan down. The spike is still by Pyramid. On this A site, it's it's a little bit difficult choice, and Del Taco immediately rendezvous out, tries to get in better position once again. Wall goes up just to give him a bit of extra time, but I don't know how much time you're going to have here. Wall goes down, and Jurassic finishes it off. Well done by LA Tech, having four alive, and Auth grabbing a 2K there. Very, very impressive. I mean, it's just a phenomenal job again. So, like, we've seen Grand Valley now essentially hit A site, what, five times in a row? I don't think they've deviated from A just yet. And they're going to continue to try to pound this A site. A little bit more mid-presence here, which I like the split, using that fade utility to get an idea of who is on B, just kind of from the pre-round. Now they're going to go back to mid. So we're going to see a little bit more mid-aggression here. Obviously, they're not completely broke. I do want to. Uh, I do also want to mention that the Sarko actually saved that judge from the ultimate round. That's the reason why he had it the last round. So now mm. bought up to a rifle. Not too worried about that econ. They're going to go ahead and go through. And Lacey's going to be extremely aggressive here with, of course, <laughs> the neon ultimate. Just laser them all down. It's a beam rifle. Go, 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 go. You got nothing. Come on, you can do it. You can do. It. Oh, Lacey. Lacey tried. Hundred percent. Lacey tried. But Arax was like, "No, nah, we're not. We're not dealing with that today. Shut him down. Ground him to the floor." And. We're going to be good. So, very nicely done. Again, GVSU, they did attack a site. You are correct. They did it five out of six rounds and four times in a row. Uh, I have been counting. I'm very good at counting sometimes. So, you are correct. They are. But immediately after they lose that fourth round, they're like, all right, go back to B. We're going to go right back and uh, and try the other side. And it looks like they are getting some value, especially with the Nightfall and the Hunter Series forcing Sarko completely out of position. Yeah, and they're going to be able to push on to site here, but Sarko oh. able to find one. And here comes the retaliation from the Hunter's Fury as well. Going to find one. Do they find two with a just oh. miss? As Jeden might get spotted here, they know he's on the backside of the site. And also, in all of that chaos, Auth has been taken down as well. So there is no more Null Command as well. But Love is going to be found. That's a great Sova Dart. Illusion's going to have the trade. And now it's a 1v2 essentially because Dive cannot pick up. KO has no shot of grabbing Auth. The wall goes up. It's a great job by Viper here to stay alive on back site. We're going to see Jurassic come around. Does he have the opportunity? Oh. He does now. It's a 1v1 in between Dive. The two Sovas going at it. And dive. All you have to do is just kind of dance around. Oh, that recon. It's so good. But halfway mark is already done. And the peak is so good. Dive knew exactly what they had to do. And it is going to be the headshot to finish it. So, difficult situation. I couldn't really fault them either way. And now you have a B site take. Keeping in the lead, GBSU. One up on LA Tech. And as they continue to do this, right, they continue to mix it up. It looks like they're going to go back to home sweet home, which is the A site, of course, on Breeze. But I, I like the vary of their take, too, because they really hard defaulted that way of that round. And when Lacey popped the overdrive and really pushed mid, it made the rest of the team not really have an idea of where they were going to hit, right? So mm -hmm. you're looking at it. They push. They take all of mid control with that overdrive. Unfortunately, they get taken out. And then immediately it's like, well, I saw them all mid. Where are they actually going to push? No idea is Jeton actually looking here with the tour de force online for the first time this half for louisiana tech it's only uh you know you only shoot 57 percent slower or something like that so you know yeah. give it some time he'll ramp up but <laughs> agreed that's uh that just shows kind of where la tech are prioritizing the rest of their players have had their ultimates up and around so we'll see what we'll see what can be done but gbsu we said that they were defaulting over to a but the fact that the default has led them over to b instead they're just kind of watching, right? Just eyes open. Where do we actually want to hit? Do we want to try and snag an opening here? Sarko, though, honestly, remember last round as well, Sarko was able to lay out one or two at the start. It was very, very important uh, that, that uh, those couple kills went through and made it more difficult for Grand Valley. Let's see if Sarko can do it again. Nope. This time, Lop was ready for it. It's a great push through right there by Love, and here come the ultimates again. The one ultimate available for Grand Valley as Jurassic is just getting spammed through the half wall here. Almost loses his life down to 34 health. Oh. One gets seized as well. No. Wall bang on the one HP Jurassic. That man just got bullied. We still have the Viper Spit available, and right now Grand Valley just an excellent take on the B site again. It's going to be Jeeton and four bullets in the Tour de Force to try to clutch this out. And you were talking earlier, Visionary, as we do get that final kill. It is a flawless round. You were talking about it earlier. Uh, GVSU know almost exactly how to play around the utility, right? They are a team that understands lineups, that understands how to clear a site, but also understands how to pin a single player with almost nothing to their name, right? That 
that unfortunate lineup uh, all the way back on Sarko was just like that was that was painful. There were a lot of things there that I don't think Louisiana Tech could have could have done uh, in retrospect. So very well done by GVSU, completely locking down that site, getting a flawless round as well for the first time. Seeing one of those economical advantages here, multiple amounts of creds in their pockets. So GVSU ready to go in this first half. Of course, Jeton wants a taste and can't find it. Yeah, and here comes Ooh. just the eco round rush, right? We've seen this happen twice now. Pushing straight through the rifle is retreat for Lazy as well. So this is going to be quite nice. But Arax and Dive going to find two on the A site. And while all that aggression came out of B main, well, look, A site is completely free. It's going to be a retake predominantly for mid here. It's going to be tough sledding ahead for Louisiana Tech. I mean, I like it. You don't really have a better option. So you just rush and you get a couple frags, right? Uh, definitely more than you probably could ask for so now you can now you're asking can we find at least one more and fading in from mid it's a really nice cross here and it should be easy del taco oh well i gave the benefit of the doubt but that was an unfortunate moment uh, that's oh shoot there's only <laughs> there's only one tp that's a great shot right there from arax though jurassic has a great trade and dive oh here. my gosh uh, i mean you have the aldrone available it just makes your life and that's just this is the benefit of having three initiators, and I will beat a dead horse on this. Your, your chances of having somebody that has the ability to get intel as last alive is just so great. And Dive is sitting there with both an Aldrone and the Recon Bolt at the ready. And it's just so difficult to be able to take that 1v1 when you're exposed from basically every angle. You're just sitting there like, bruh. Like, give me a chance, You're please. getting bullied, bro. Like, how am I supposed <laughs> to play the game when there's pings going off 14 times? Because he got tagged with the Aldrone. And also the recon bolts in front of him. He's like, I might as well just ego peek this. What else am I going to do? <laughs> Literally nothing. You are, you're going to sit there and take it. Right now, Arax is kind of saying the same thing. No Utah on the other side. But guess who comes around with the shoddy? Jeton said, Arax, you are going to die. Third, fourth shot. Jeton completely finishes that one off. So the null command being picked up by GVSU is now nullified. But it was a bait. It was just a master, master plan here by the side of GVSU to get full control of a site. Ah. I love, uh, especially now that almost all the ults that have that kind of site-wide impact in Valorant are now eight ult points, to invest that and just buy in completely to the fake is that's a phenomenal shot by off to take out Del Taco, who did have the Tour de Force in hand. That's going to be a massive pick, but Luff does have the one that was on flank removed now so we're going to be obviously seeing viper playing lineups once again dives able to find auth and it's just kind of back and forth we go 3v3 jurassic takes down dive and now the thick part of the retake happens it is going to be illusion trying to wait and set up but the rest of the team is on the hunt here for la tech and there they go poison lands love is able to spray down two though that is huge and illusion cleans it up oh my lord it was a force again la tech didn't have a choice but GVS, you play that perfectly. I, I love this comp so much for Breeze, and obviously a timeout is going to be taken by Off here and the side of Louisiana Tech. They're just going to have a chat about this, right? Because they're getting caught in situations where, like that, they have numbers, and that's not something that you should theoretically lose. Love hits two amazing shots, and then, of course, you get the snake bite out of the skies, you know, from the heavens, basically, coming down on you and just wiping out three players within like two seconds it it's not something that should happen they have to just talk a little bit here and just go into hey like maybe we should spread out a little bit on our retakes we shouldn't be allowing these things to happen especially when we have numbers i i think that might be one but at the same time you can't be so indecisive right uh, so you heard that you heard the uh, spike ticking down at the very end and it's the fact that they waited so long that they did have to force that option for themselves right they had to say okay well we don't have enough time we have to go for the defuse I think they may also just need to say we got to be a little bit more proactive in those actions, right? Especially if you know a Viper's on the other side. I think that Viper, uh, if you're watching on the attacker, is just like, all right, listen, we know their lineups. We know exactly what they're going to do because it's what we would do. We can't waste time, right? The longer you waste time, the easier it is for the Viper to control that sight take as well. So a couple extra things uh, to kind of think about here. And for Louisiana Tech, it's it's a rough one because you uh two rounds left here in this half. And... uh. And so we are going to going to be giving it a big chance here. Uh, once again, after this talk, 
Let's see what they can do. Oh, and off immediately got suppressed back on their own side. And Lazy said, give us an option. Arax is going to find off. It's a one for one. And now a chase right back to reset. <gasps> Oh, but Jurassic, a couple of misses there. Would really like to have their shots back. 11 health on Lazy right here. Going to be bringing this. Of course, the take really came from mid. Illusion has the pig. And Jurassic's actually going to find it on Arax, who was lurking outside of double doors. Here comes the Hunter's Fear. Going to tag one. Is this oh. going to be a kill? It is. Dive has been removed. And he's been the clutch master so far for Grand Valley. But Del Taco with the lurk from mid. It's going to be Ooh. taken out by Jeeton. Some chamber on chamber violence right there. As Illusion just sits here waiting. He's been spotted. The orb finally not on the spike molly's not really in play either and oh Jeez. my the pixel peak from illusion to take down jeton and it's going to be eight three we're staring down the barrel of a cursed half just so good again right this is gvsu playing on a map that they know like the back of their hand and they're very happy right uh the other side is i think they also understand that they kind of have to play this aggressive and get this sort of really amazing start because if you're playing three initiators you do have to realize on the back end on the defensive it's a little bit rougher i'm not saying it's a great deal rougher but it is a little bit rougher to lay down some of those um coverage fires and the cover angles for the site so getting a huge lead on this attacking site i think is going to be oh so important for the squad and you can see here as well luff is going to send out the nightfall just tether up at least two in the back line but they don't want to aggress on it they're saying hey take a little bit of time give us a little bit of a moment and we're going to try and find off in the back one more shot it does get some damage down doesn't get the kill 80 is still quite a bit of damage though is obviously mm. this is going to be a take on the back oh side. Does a great job the right click flash might have been nerfed it is still successful as the spam coming out as arex tries to chase going to get tagged by the recon bolt there they're going to know he's here and the null command being used as well off with another flash going for the kill the right click's not able to land arex takes him down but it's still a good presence on site right now for louisiana tech as sarko gets picked off from the flank oh but you know who's alive you know who's alive, Visionary. It's a singular player known as Illusion, and just saying, yeah, we're, we're good here. And now they chase in and right into the waiting arms. Illusion just says thank you. That's a 3K, waiting for one more. And still with another player up, it's perfect, right? You're not worried. It's over. It's done. If you're going to try and go for the plant, there's a shock bolt, and you'll win it out. Dive said, I got the util to give us the nine rounds. Uh, do you want the nine rounds? <laughs> Listen, I'll, listen. All jokes aside, all jokes aside, no, no, no. I, I, I am a firm believer <laughs> in the 9-3 curse when it pertains to ranked. When you are playing with a team with coordination and you have six rounds as a lead, that cushion is invaluable, and I am never going to say that it is not. All right. Uh, at least you... At least you do believe in it a little bit, but yeah, we get we give these teams a little bit more credit than uh, than that, right? And GBSU, I think, is a team that we should give a lot of credit, no matter the scoreline. They have played exceptionally well, and if you take a look at the number of frags they've all gotten, it's so close together, and that gives me a uh, a lot of hope moving into this next uh, next half as well, right? They're a team that is very team oriented, not so much that singular player that tends to stand out or have that phenomenal game. Yeah, well, Del Taco was that player in the first round, but oh. Sarko has been that player on the other side as well. He's been doing a magnificent job as Viper here, actually getting a first blood as Viper, pushing the button and really pressing forward with the team right there. The wall is going to go down. It's looking like Sight is going to be taken. And of course, as it happens on Breeze, everybody's stacked up in the back site there, just waiting for the retake for Grand Valley State University. Taking a bit of time here as Auth is going to walk forward as well. Luff takes out Sarko, which is very, very important. But Illusion is watching their own team fall left, right, and center. Up inside the hallway, though, 4 HP. Auth just saying, yeah, I do all the work. 3v1. I mean, you're not too worried about this one. Where does Illusion, who does Illusion fall to? I mean... It's a good question, but they haven't tapped the spike yet, and they're just giving a little bit too much time. Is there going to be an opportunity oh. here? No, it's going to be Jeeton able to take it away. And honestly, I was getting a little bit concerned just because I, obviously they had a lot of good control, but you hadn't tapped yeah. the spike yet. You haven't really forced that Viper to make a decision yet. And luckily enough, Louisiana Tech going to be able to take the pistol here. Funnily enough to note, they also took the pistol on defense as well. So it's going to be a little mm -hmm. bit different here. They're going to be able to eco around again, but we've seen Grand Valley State University with rifles. We know that's something to be terrified of. Is Luff actually going to buy up a sheriff here, believing in their ability? And of course, I get baited and they sell it. <laughs>
You were so excited. You were like, yeah. Oh. It happens. It happens. But I, I do agree with the Spectre change as well. We just saw a larger buy come out of uh, LA Tech as well, right? We saw the Bulldog. We saw, I think it was the Marsh, uh, Marshall coming to play. So a little bit heavier investment right there and just saying, hey, we are going to do so. We know that we have run this gauntlet early on as well. And we tend to get a lot of value at the start over GBSU in that second round of play if we get the pistol. So we'll see if it does bring them a lot of power. Dive can only get one right click off and can't get much more. Yeah, Jeton's going to be here, of course, with just those headhunter bullets as a little bit of chip damage is done right here, of course, from mid. Arax actually going to find Jurassic. If I'm not mistaken, that's going to be one of the Ares down as the Marshal is dropped in front. Opportunity for Illusion here. It's just a collapsing retake with Classics, and everybody is able to get some picks here as Arax oh going to find a four with a Classic. Did what Dive couldn't do, right? Dive's like, why couldn't I pull that off? Why couldn't I get the amazing classic kills? And this is like, you're, you're not as good as me. You're just <laughs> not as fancy and flips the hair backwards. What a ridiculous display. GVSU just say, screw it. We're going to go absolutely bonkers. And that cuts off Louisiana at the legs right there, right? They invested so much into that round and they lost it out and gives over extra money to GVSU. This next round, you're not going to win it. And even into, uh, I want to say that 16th round, that's going to be played up here shortly. You're not going to have that fantastic moment here. So very rough time for Louisiana Tech. For GVSU, you are so happy for what just occurred that you are excited for the final rounds. Hey, man, you said it's not going to happen. We just saw a full five classic. Take down, take down. <laughs> all right, all right, that's thrifty. fair. So you know what? I mean, I'm not going to say it's not going to happen. Is Del Taco going to be here? Take out some of that recon bolt as well. Going to get one. Looking for two. There's off with a classic. There's an opportunity. There, there <laughs> is. There is. Come on. Prove well. me wrong. Prove me wrong, Louisiana Tech. Prove me wrong. I love being proven wrong. I know a lot of casters don't like to be proven wrong. I love being proven wrong. Like, prove me wrong. Make this a glorious moment. I'm, I'm right there with you, honestly. I love getting proven wrong. <laughs> I love being the person that has the curse. Like, it's great because it makes you feel like you actually do something. Is Dive going to get two here? Oh, Cheating. geez. Gonna be oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, check his PC. This isn't normal. Um, <laughs> that shot through the smoke is just disgusting. Are they looking for the spike? <laughs> they're going around. They're trying to, right, they're there trying to maybe pick up guns because I know there was a bulldog and some other some other guns yeah. that were purchased. So they're probably just trying to find the strongest weapons they can. Arax going to stick with that Spectre for reasons unknown to me, but he's top fragging. So I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> we're going to go off <laughs> right. to an 11-4. Score line right now for Grand Valley State. They were able to take that one down. Arax is actually okay, just going to throw okay. that Spectre by the wayside. And he's like, nope, I'm getting a rifle. Thank you, guys. And it's going to be full buy versus full buy into this one. Louisiana Tech, I need to see some variation or maybe just some patience because we have seen Grand Valley get a little bit aggressive, especially from that mid lurk, obviously, on the retake. Maybe you kind of throw a bait in here. You don't have any You don't have any ultimates to really bait off of, but you do have a lot of util. Maybe throw a wall B and just rush A. Well, they could, and, and I think with guns in hand, they're going to be very different as well. Lazy, though, said, I tried to be different, and it did not work. Get me the hell out of here. Immediately bounce back. Arax pushes up a long and says, give me another chance. It's going to be a trade as both the killjoys, KOs, I'm sorry, not killjoys, what am I talking about, are able to grab a frag apiece, and Grand Valley are just chasing after this. Looking for at least one more, though, as the poison is going to stall them out at B. Louisiana Tech going, okay, we tried A, we tried B. What's left? It's mid. Yeah, and I mean they're they're going here, but I mean you you have a Lucian just sitting there, right? And they have they already have the poison orb. They still have a snake bite available to them. Like this is going to be a very hard take, and there it is. You grab the orb, you're able to go ahead and use that null command and stop that push. And everybody's just filtering in sight. Jeton's going to get one. Are they going to clear out back sight? That's going to be the question. Del Taco going to be able to find one, and then you have the Viper ultimate committed as well. So this is going to be a little bit of tough sledding ahead. You're going to have to dump some util, but the fact of the matter is. where at least the rest of the team is. I think that's going to give... So, let's see what they can do as a... Uh... I think we had a little bit of a, a little bit of a tech issue there, so we do apologize. Um, I honestly thought I honestly thought my internet decided to just absolutely dumpster me right there. Uh, I quickly hit refresh about three times, and I was like, oh gosh, oh gosh, but 
it, it was it was a fantastic game. So we'll get, we'll get a little bit of an update, but still, it was that's the start of why we're seeing GVSU have this ridiculous run as we've seen. And I, and I think you had pointed it out earlier, and I'm just piggybacking off of you, Visionary, the entire time. The only reason it feels they were in this position is they had a little bit of a rough end to their season. They had to drop one of those games, so it was unintentionally dropped them down a little bit lower. They're here for just outright revenge. They're just like, we are going to be that power. We are going to be that you can't tell us that we don't deserve to be higher up. Yeah, and I mean, they've proven it time and time again through this. Obviously, taking down the three seed is massive as well. Um, and I, I mean, I don't want to like throw everything out there, right? But this is the exact same comp. And I know Sentinels wasn't exactly successful in, in LCQ this year in VCT, but what they were w looked a lot better, right? And this is the mm -hmm. exact comp they ran. They ran three initiators on Breeze. They were there to just gather intel and push and try to use their ability to win aim duels. And we're seeing a lot of that out of Grand Valley right now as the overdrive gets popped right now. Lazy gonna swing towards the backside. Maybe uses that slide a little bit prematurely, not able to get a lot of angle on it, but gonna be at least occupying that site. Is Del Taco gonna find one? Jeetan's gonna get a trade and Illusion takes down Lazy. Now we're just sitting here, two on the back of sight it's just back and forth but grand valley still with three alive oh three alive and only against one and with that del taco knew exactly where jeton was i mean you couldn't really do too much about it no hate that way either as we're now looking at game point and it's gonna be la tech just wandering in they don't really have any money so this is this this is one of the more unfortunate scenarios to sit in, right? This last round, it uh, feels like last round of the game. You have a single hero rifle, and you're just like, bro, like, we actually got to play this last round like this. Hey, man, Sarko's got a guardian with no shields, all right? If I believe in anybody, <laughs> it's going to be Sarko with a guardian and no shields. And I do not mean that disparagingly by any means. He's hit 60 shots. But here's Del Taco. Obviously, the Tour de Force is going to be there as well. See him creeping up. There's Jeetan versus Del Taco. It's going to be who wins on the angle. And it's going to be Del Taco who's able to get away. Oh. That is just... No! <laughs> this is what we saw in round one, Orbital. This is what we saw in round one. It was 100% the Del Taco show with the operator with the headhunter. He could not miss. And he comes up. And obviously, it's a slight eco for Louisiana Tech. I don't think that really matters. That's a phenomenal three shots. All right. All right. Del Taco eating good tonight here that was that was so rude uh in the opener now louisiana tech i mean we kind of expected this but sarko is at least able to find one looking for a few more drops the gun and swapping out here and is going to swing hard are you kidding me gvsu gather up so much and we are gonna have a little bit of a technical delay it's like we're sitting here in a cypher bug Nope. That was a uh, that was painful, and we are right back to us because you know we are so lovely yeah. here. At least visionary, visionary looks freaking gorgeous over here. Just uh, just want to point that out. Uh, hey, you are looking <laughs> mighty fine yourself, big man. So give yourself it. some credit where it's due. <laughs> um, obviously, we did hear the audio. There was one player remaining on the side of Louisiana Tech there, so I, I don't want to assume anything. It was a one v two. There wasn't a lot of health remaining. But uh, it's going to be GVSU, and that yep. 2v1 is actually going to end up taking the round. So they're going to win 13 to 5. Uh, uh, definitely a great effort coming out from Louisiana Tech. It was just, and I don't want to say that it's a comp diff, right? Because both teams had great moments going back and forth. But when you have the ability to have a Sova get intel, and then when you're actually pushing on, be able to come off that fade and use all the sound and everything else that you've collected, it just really opens up Breeze because it is a sightline map. It is aim duels, and whoever has more information is typically going to win. And when you run that three initiator comp, it is just juicy for that information to be able to pull through and to be able to get those picks. Yeah, and I'm I'm a big proponent that on a map like Breeze and especially with certain compositions, whether you're on attack or defense matters a lot, right? Because you get those early rounds and you line up that extra buffer zone and you're just like, hey, we're doing great. Now we can be a little bit more flexible with our other side, a side that maybe our composition does not excel with as much, right? You saw those last few rounds. I think it went uh, one, two, one, one, and then a follow up with one more at the end. So a little bit more back and forth. So, you know, you could sit there and potentially say gbsu if they were on the defensive first would this composition have looked as good would it have been as dominant because again initiators as you said very important cutting off those line of sights and everything but i do agree it looked practice it looks so controlled from gbsu that i am terrified going into haven and seeing what they have there as well their haven was actually better than their breeze in the round of one <laughs> that i got to see them on so that is something to think about and ponder as we're going to take a break obviously we're going to give our voices a bit of a rest we're going to give everybody at home a chance to get a drink maybe grab a bite to eat we're going to be back 
after this short break with Haven with Louisiana Tech versus Grand Valley State University. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars. It's real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Counting them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like can food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood I mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset I mean, I've tried everything Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides.
Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to ECAC Esports. My name is Visionary One. Alongside me, of course, is the very handsome Orbital. And we just saw Grand Valley State University take down Louisiana Tech, the Bulldogs, 13 to 5 on Breeze. Now, I kind of mentioned we were talking about it in the green room beforehand that Breeze was their pocket pick. It's the map that they've been running in playoffs. And they kind of showed you why it's been their pick, right? It just, it was perfect coordination, especially that last round. You were seeing the highlight from Del Taco with the three operator shots. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons that happened is the combo utility from the Sova coming in with that recon bolt just made free pickings for the last one. And it's so difficult to be able to work your way back when util is being combined that well. I love the fact that we didn't even point out that Dive was actually firing off the Hunter Siri behind. So it literally just like forced everyone in the line of sight. And then it was just free fire, right? But even without that ultimate, I do agree with you. This is perfect util and just well played across the board from GVSU. And for Louisiana Tech, I want to see them be able to do the same here on Haven to kind of come out in here and say Haven is our perfect map pick. And we are going to be kind of that all-star squad do I have confidence in that? A little bit. We saw some glimmers of hope, but right now, GBSU as it stands look like a much more coordinated and macro game oriented team, right? They just feel a little bit more on point, a little bit more controlled, and wow, those agent selects came in quickly. Uh, Louisiana, no chamber as understood, but they are also going with a heavy, heavy front load here with the util. Yeah, they certainly are. The other thing that I want you to note, and we noticed this last time as well, everybody on Grand Valley has switched roles. Just, yep. Yep. Just, so uh, no, no, no. Roles. Del Taco. Del Taco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, you can't say that. Anything, bro. <laughs> yeah, he ain't switching nothing. But also, I want to point um, on offense, starting off for Grand Valley State University, Omen can now buy Paranoia, Bow Smokes, and Shields if they so choose on pistol round thanks to paranoia becoming i think it's a hundred dollars cheaper so it's now 250 off the buy round and you're going to see that exact loadout come out from dive here just immense immense utility and dives like bruh i got this i got some fun and uh and everyone else is just like if you ain't this we are going to laugh i think that's the other side to it <laughs> yeah. it's like you can buy everything but dive has had <laughs> dive has had some moments right in game number one had some fantastic moments and then got caught out every so often i think we also just saw a dc so uh already someone decided that uh they weren't sure about this so mm -hmm. i think we're in a tech pause here but i do agree it's a lot of util that you're not expecting and that's what happens kind of on day one patches right day one patches you sit there and you go okay, this is a lot to throw at you. Are we going to take a lot of these things into consideration? I think some of the fun things, of course, is, as you said, the cost exchanges, right? Another one that we saw is Sky, a little bit of an exchange, a little bit more expensive on the Trailblazer, but on the healing is a reduced cost of 50. So all these little things kind of shift in, and the teams have to pick and choose what they feel is most appropriate for their team to deal with, right? Yes, of course, it's not as big as the Chamber nerfs, and, you know, Del Zaco said, screw the nerfs, I don't give a crap. But the rest of it is still up there, right? Are we going to use this util piece? Are we actually going to run in, pick up this new agent that maybe gives a bit more flexibility now? It's the give and take, right, all the way through. Yeah, and both teams also running a breach on, on this map. And seeing the Killjoy come out, of course, from Louisiana Tech doesn't surprise me right because everybody knows that breach is a mainstay on haven he's been that way in college valorant for two seasons now everybody's seen uh, been running them but now the aftershock actually doesn't kill the ultimate the lockdown so yep. because of that you're actually able to run a killjoy and not worry about that utility coming in and just completely you know 200 dollars for an ultimate i don't really think that was a fair trade i think it is a <laughs> good balance idea but as far as bringing out killjoy onto that c site being able to shut that down or even on the a site as well especially if you can get that turret in heaven to where it can shoot you know down those longer angles make it a little bit more difficult especially on pistol round just to try to get on site it's very annoying whenever that happens um oh, you know it, it just comes down to being one of those things where these changes happen and teams have to adapt rather quickly or there's people like del taco that say i don't care i'm still playing chamber <laughs> there and i think that's the the highlight of it right the the nurse themselves everyone wants to talk about chamber but the fact of the matter is the core of chamber is not gone it's just you have to be more refined with it and i will stand by that statement all day long right I will stand by that statement that any anyone that plays Chamber is just 
very good with it. It's no longer the agent allows you to be better. It's the player now enables the chamber to be an absolute blast. So we're going to see it here. Louisiana Tech watching as the player goes down here on the B site. And it's a quick cleanup. One kill so far. But the chase goes through as Jean is cleaned up and taken out of commission. Luff is looking for one more inside of the garage. But B site is going to be a little bit difficult off. Able to find Arax. And now Luff taking quite low. Sarko once again laying the groundwork. But look at that. The pistol fly right back. It is going to be a cleanup though as LA Tech keep two alive and once again they claim a pistol round uh, not a surprise and i just want to shout out as well the spread on the chamber bullets when you're rapid firing that head hunter the spread has been increased there so old habits die hard for del taco there he had to actually take a minute after the first two and let his aim reset whereas before you could kind of just spam that out and you know end up getting the kill so unfortunate right there but i mean hey right it's a new patch day it's kind of what happens and Louisiana Tech comes in with good plans to continue winning pistol round. And I think that's extremely important, right? Because that mm -hmm. sets up the base. It sets up the foundation. Even if it didn't work out with you winning both pistol rounds last map, this is your map pick. Getting that, you know, kind of that ego back. I think that's huge. <laughs> It feels good, right? And the one name that keeps popping up, I know they haven't been the absolute star of the pistols, is Sarko, right? Um, I'm loving the way Sarko plays in these pistols, uh, fairly aggressive and in your face. And it provides such a clean opportunity for Louisiana Tech. If the rest of the team can keep bouncing off of that, I think that's great as well. Right now, though, GVSU, they're going to try and pull off a little bit of a nutty upset once again. They did it in the second half of Breeze. This time around, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but if you're able to catch the A-long flankers, this is going to be a challenge here. And already, Jurassic is spotted out. At least two on that far end, and now they're chasing and take a look at the pinch though are they going to get more they chase around a long and they are going to catch two lazy is able to take one out at least lazy gets another oh my lord the judge was a thing but illusion no no you can't do it to him like that is, is that legal like are you allowed <laughs> to just spam through smokes and tap heads like that that's wild to me that this continues happening right now and illusion throws the judge to love and love is like nah bro i'm good i don't want that they actually trade out sheriffs for good luck and sarko also running a judge here oh and this is going to be kind of an awkward retake, unfortunately, for Dive, just kind of sitting there in the smokes, uh, just looking at his hands going, oh, God, what just happened? Jeetan going to be here, going to get knocked off of the spike. He was looking for the tap, not able to find it. Here this comes. It's going to be the judge. Are they going to be able to find it? No, Sarko gets one. The Molly going to hold off as well, and Luff's not going to oh, be able to push oh, some time. Oh! In the area. Do they have time? No! Point oh seven. They pull out the Miracle <laughs> Thrifty again. Are you kidding me, Grand Valley State? That was the perfect round to have all of the circus music going. I just want to say that was the there. respect to both teams, but the dumbest ways to get killed, I think, out of all the rounds possible. Like incendiary on top of a nano swarm inside of the smoke. You tried to walk forward, you tried to get it, and in the end, it didn't even matter, right? It, it was just a little bit late on that on the defuse. But the ridiculousness of all of that, just, you have to sit there and laugh, right? <laughs> the fact that the round ended like that, both teams have got to be shaking their heads and going, we may have made out like bandits for the side of LA Tech. It was the fact that you got all five members for GVSU. You even got away with the round. So, coming into this third, it's going to be a big question. Couple shots go out. Jurassic lands nothing as Lucian is going to find Lazy. And Jurassic is now going to run for their life. Can't get away from Del Taco fast enough. Yeah, and that's just one of those things where, you know, you're on the classic, you want to take that aggressive angle and try to get that early pick so you can retrieve a gun. Just don't get in your favor. I don't think it's a bad decision by any means. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out for you. As this is going to come through, of course, Grand Valley State. Oh, yeah. We have Sarko just doing bunny hops, getting ready, and hello, almost a boom bot to the face. And we have two shorties coming out. It's like a melody in my head. So we're going to see if they can get anything here. Is Jeetan going to get spotted out? Peeks out to the left, not able to find much. And this is a 5v2 retake. Although I do want to admit, Sarko already has their ultimate. So that's going to be interesting, at least for the next round when they have a buy. Because I'm positive they're not going to use that investment now. Oh, you think that, but you saw a lot. Okay, nope, they're not. Okay, sorry, Dive. I, 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 yeah, that was funny. Here we go. Eyes around the corner. Jeetan with the shorty said, ah, uh, ah, uh, crap. Uh-oh. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, I love that so much. Good round, though, again from GVSU, because even though Akon was wiped off the table, they still are able to pick up all the guns. And now taking a look, we get what is that final actual start to the game here. 
LA Tech, they did what they could, and again, losing that second and third round feels a little bit bad. Should not be too upset, though. Still a little bit of time to work with, plenty of rounds to play. Let's see what they can do with the Vandals and Phantoms in their hand. And it's really just going to come down to playing smart enough, right? They do have two people on light shields here to make sure they can buy full util, because obviously that's important having it on the KJ and the Fade. You want to have as much util as possible. It's, it's looking like just a hard push to see. Smoke's going to come out early. Dive's going to respond with a couple of dark covers of their own. And the question remains, are they actually going to try to push through this? Or are they going to go ahead and just kind of default off of it? They might decide to... Uh to run it i don't see any issue with this they haven't done it yet i think from gbsu side right they haven't actually tested c site just yet it's been mainly a uh, all the way through so the fact that they're long stacking this and only able to get a little bit of information orbital strike is going to slow them down but illusion with a nasty shot beautifully done sarko only dropping it to get a bit of information is now going to get completely utilized out and you are blind to the fact that del taco ran up on you this is what I said, right? No reason to back away. You clean house. Louisiana Tech, none the wiser. It's down to a 4v1. As Luff just says, give me that authorization to take a frag. One more left alive. As Lazy ain't looking so lazy right now. Looking in a bit of a dire spot. Yeah, they're going to have to do work here. A couple of decent shots. Doesn't get anything on A-Rex just yet. Is that Blast Pack going to come out? It's not going to do anything as Del Taco just holds the angle. And I think at this point, you really have to try to save the rifle as they get a little bit aggressive here. The fault line <laughs> going to come out as well. That util bullying going to start trying to do it. Oh the after shot comes out as well. Bro, just save it. Just save it. I'm telling you, just run. <laughs> it ain't worth it. No. Picking up the kill. Lazy, unfortunately, not able to do much. I just want to note that one kill had an assist from every single member of the Grand Valley <laughs> State on that. It was, it was unfortunately, of course, it was on to, um, I believe it was... Um, I believe it was Auth on the backside, right? Or Sarko. It was on Sarko. Because mm -hmm. they, got they got Fade Prowlered. They got Paranoid. The they got Splash Damage from, of course, uh, Raze's Ultimate. And then I don't know how Del Taco ended up getting an assist on it, but I saw five assists pop up next to the name. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Well, that's actually the change that came in with this patch. So that's a little extra little tidbit for you as, wow, okay, GBSU. We're just going to go back to what I was talking about. So they actually did change the... Uh, the ticker timers, I think, at the end, right? Yep. Uh, let me let me double check where this was specifically. But they said the trail that comes from getting your util to hit someone, they increase the time to actually give that favorability back, right? Saying, hey, we are giving you a chance to get those assists that you so well deserved. And uh, Illusion said, yeah, sorry, Sako, you don't get much more. But that's what it is, right? Getting a piece of the action for everyone, it's now for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And not only that, it is four for Grand Valley State University. So that was a great transition. So there is Del Taco is going to be using that tour de force. We're going to see what appears to be a little bit of that B site kind of just default for now. We still have 15 seconds. They might decide to split out, but their takes of mid have been pretty aggressive. You're going to see two stacking on A site for Lizzie and Tech right now. Kind of a hard default with a lot of presence on B. Obviously, with Brimstone, you can smoke both sites out if you're on the B site. I think, obviously, that's where they should be playing. And there is the official notification of the Tour de Force being used. A couple good spray downs there. Get some chip damage on a -Rax to start out this round. And Aleutian just camping outside of C-Doors. Just waiting. Just waiting. They hear something. Nope, they heard nothing. Sorry about that. That was a weird voice I got. I don't know why I did. Anyway, going into that garage, Dive is uh, Dive is waiting in A long, but says, hey, I got the assist from far cover. They chase in great cover in the back line, and the connector is open, but they don't check the corner. So they send out the nightfall and still get shot in the back. Sarko makes the best out of the situation, gets a one for one. And C site is no longer attacked, but because of that, the bait works. What do you know? GVS, you say, ha, you fell for it. I just, again, right? This is the second time they've used an ultimate on a site. We saw it on Breeze with the with the KO, of course, with the null command. We're going to see this, but now the Killjoy coming out as well. And that cannot be broken from the other side. Even if your breach is alive, it does not matter for Grand Valley State. They have to push this or they have to get out along. And Auth is going to be able to take out Arax because of it. But the lockdown is destroyed thanks to a huge flank. And now we get to see Del Taco do Del Taco things. Del Taco, give me a taco, please. That will uh, that will be very nice. But Del Taco having issues now. That's going to be a juggle. Oh! All right. You know what? You got the 3K look fancy, and Jurassic is going to finish it off. But my gosh, was that brutal. Made it expensive again for LA Tech. 
But they do get around. So 4-2, you know what? You made the best out of it, and you got around for yourself. So slowly climbing your way back and trying to fight your way back into this half. And they're going to have a full buy, or almost a full buy here, um, which is, you know, just another part of that benefit. But I think the big story right now is Illusion at 11 and 4. I, I just want to highlight that that flick that they had obviously did not check the corner of of C Garage, right? But after the fate started getting shot at, he just retreated and just one tapped the absolute living out of Sarko. And it's something Alu's actually their flex player. He plays all kinds of different agents. It's going to be very interesting to see if we make it to Pearl, what he's going to play. And to be able to frag out as that flex player, I think that's massive as this is going to come out as well. And both, oh, oh my, my, both reach ultimates at the same time. Welcome to I can't see or hear anything. Uh, population everyone. Ot said, yeah, population you guys as Lucian and Arax are completely locked out. And because of that flank, LA Tech have opened up a grand opportunity for themselves as it looks fairly clean. You get three, you only lose one. And now you know exactly where the opponents are. You know they're chasing up this mid side again. They don't really have a chance to rotate anywhere else. So very, very appropriate that we have Lazy once again with this judge. And the Lazy judge tends to be the scariest because you get situations like this with a hand down a verdict without you even knowing it. And now you have the spike for free, and that's going to be massive as Del Taco probably going to try to spam through the wall here if he can find something. And there's the util dump. Del Taco going to be known that he's in cubby. There's shots coming in from just about everywhere. Here comes a prowler. The util is just starting to be dumped. The jumping shots from the judge, and Auth is going to be able to take down his third of the round as Louisiana Tech going to be able to bring this one step closer at three to four. And I definitely like what I'm seeing out of them right now. A little bit scrambled at the beginning, of course, that thrifty round came out on round number two against the anti-eco and since then four straight for grand valley and now louisiana tech is stabilized right they've been able to take two mm -hmm. rounds in a row they're aware of the mid presence orbital and i think that's huge for them moving forward because we've seen grand valley state really use that mid presence to open up the map and i think that also comes with the fact that they started to identify some of gvsu's tendencies right a little bit of the aggression a little bit of the forward momentum that gvsu likes to play with um you identify, and, and I will always say that, again, uh, these round-based shooters, uh, Valorant, of course, is all about finding out what your opponent wants to do and being able to counteract it. And it's always a game of counteracting or countering the counter versus the counter, and it's just a giant game of chess from there on out. So this time around, you know, maybe on Breeze they didn't have a good handle for Louisiana Tech. They feel much cleaner, right? A 2-1-2 setup here. A bit more information granted to them about the fact that, hey, maybe they're going to be on the C site. A lot of Util also landed over there in Garage, so no real chance for GVSU to get a clean entry onto any of these sites. And Love going to take a little bit of chip damage there, but you make a great point where that entry is just completely being denied right now, and Del Taco mm -hmm. just observing for that flank, but I think something else we're seeing right now out of Louisiana Tech as well is they're not rotating as quick. Whenever, whenever Scythe is heard, whenever Sight is heard, they're not rotating too quick. They're going to be looking to take the B site again. And obviously, this hasn't worked out for them at any point. So I'm wondering why they continue coming to the site trying to take this. When you have an Omen, those two smokes are going to fall, and you're going to have this coming out as well. Of course, the Orbital Strike going to be able to tag up Illusion a bit, but not much. But the smoke is just getting ready to fall at this point, and gets the swing, and there's just a bloodbath on to B everyone bites the dust i mean this cleanup is going to be so nice del taco again the last one alive but you're being forced right only a couple seconds left and you don't really have a choice jeaton will finish it off and louisiana tech play it appropriately they very smartly deny that plant as well and you hold off well and at this point you're starting to cut into the economy a little bit more for del taco i mean this is this is drawing into that bargain bin situation right last full buy round that you're really going to have here if you lose again it will be LA Tech getting out with a bit of a bonus area. I love it. I love what Louisiana Tech have done. <laughs> yeah, no, it's phenomenal. And the ability knowing that, you know, those couple of pushes have come from Garage, right? Well, now all the KJ utility in the world, minus the alarm bot, invested over there and really just getting prepared for that push to take away at least one part of that mid push that's so integral, right? Because if you're going to push B, oh my, this is so aggressive. And Circo is going to get one, but they're not going to have smokes. But Jeeton going to get one as well, just spamming through the smoke with the Phantom, able to find another. And that just stifles any of the progress that GVSU was making. GVSU are getting taken for a ride right now. It feels like, um, you know, I'm, <laughs> I feel they can definitely pull it back, but they just 
it just feels like they've been red. Feels like they're starting to get found out in some of their favorite kind of sitting locations. They haven't been able to find those early frags either. So in a 3v4 here, they're definitely split down C and B. And they don't have a choice. So they are going to chase in. They might be able to get a plant this time. If Del Taco can clean out the left and right, it should be okay. But eyes are open. Off has spotted one. And around the corner, that's going to be Jeeton ready and waiting for that shot. And Dive going to be able to find one entering in. And the ultimate back to the C site. This might Very actually nice. be juicy. The plant's going to come down. It's going to be a 3v2 retake situation here for Louisiana Tech. You're going to see them regroup. We're going to have two people playing from long. We do have, of course, the Breach and the Omen. So some utilities to be able to at least cut out the sight line to the spike. You're still going to have the fault line. You might have a flash in your hands as well. But it's going to be hard to swing from that condensed A goal when there's still three members alive. I love this play from them. And LA Tech, how do you want to play this? How do you want to send it? In goes a little bit of a slow. But guess what? Lazy's not going to stop defusing. They are going to swing, though. Arax is able to stop the defuse. But you're down to only one HP. Oh, my gosh. Dive. Dive. Don't do this. Dive. You have four HP. That's going to be it. Jurassic, though. I mean, wiping the sweat off their brow. That was so, so close. Uh, that counter strafe shot was just a filthy right there. Of course, coming out from dive unfortunately not able to get that and it's really weird seeing an omen with four kills six deaths and 11 assists um that's new that's new for me so i don't know <laughs> if those increased timers are doing a little bit of work in his favor i think they are <laughs> but uh, i think the last time i've seen somebody with a non-healing ability have that many assists is never ago <laughs> welcome to the land of uh stat padding right may not be the kills but it's the assist <laughs> You're helping out all you can, right? Hey, I got a little bit of a blind on him. That was great. That was great. What else did we get? Not a whole lot. Sorry about Not that. Not a whole lot. <laughs> oh, man. Taking a look here. Grand Valley, though, chasing up again. And Seaside, they've gotten once but been locked out uh, two or three other times. And this is why we're seeing LA Tech kind of push here. You know for a fact you have the gun advantage. So you're going to force this a little bit. Uh, eyes are open, though. I said gun advantage, but I guess I was wrong. Dive with a full set of util. Grand Valley. Yep, there we go. All weapons are hot. Del Taco, of course, the only one without it. And it is going to be the defender lockdown here. Going to cover most of the site, and it forces uh, Del Taco right into Lazy's arms. Yeah, and this is just going to be so dangerous, right? Because that Killjoy ultimate going to push everybody towards this back site. You're going to have Lazy and Auth combining right here. But it's a good double swing as well coming back. It's a 2v3 situation once again. But Jurassic going to be able to spam one through the smoke. I think this is pretty much a lost cause. That is going to be Jurassic finding another through the smoke. Able to clean that up. And you still you still have Breach's ultimate to work with for a retake. When you're able to come in, you're able to get those retakes and you're not having to commit your big utility towards it. It's really a good sign coming forward. And of course, I mean, you can argue with me here, but I think C is probably the best site to retake on Haven. So the fact that Grand Valley is starting to force that, even though that Breach ultimate is online, I think that kind of needs a shift. We're gonna see mm -hmm. the timeout called by them as well. I do agree, right? And, and that comes down to just basic fundamentals, I think, right? You're taking a look at C site. How many entrances do they have? You're taking a look. It only has three. Of the other sites, A site has about four in there with a little extra, if you will. B site has three, a little bit more open. But, of course, the angles that you can come in from on B site are much more important. I do agree. The force from GVSU is not working in their favor, and maybe they're a little bit frustrated. And if uh, Galaxy, uh, their coach who currently called the timeout, is able to get them back in a state of mind, they can turn around these last two rounds and maybe make it a 6-6. Six, six. And I think that's going to be very important for them. If they don't, they still have their defensive rounds, still have a lot of time to work with, and we know what they can do. But main thing is pulling the mental back. Stop trying to force something when it's unnecessary. Well, Del Taco is going to be able to force a hero rifle here, and we've seen him pull rounds out of the clutches of defeat before. Um, unfortunately, in this map, he hasn't been able to just yet. A nice 3k, but couldn't get the fourth to solidify around. And Grand Valley kind of be on a scattered by here, and obviously probably planning for the next round as, I mean, obviously, Garage Door is just getting spammed to oblivion. His auth is just going to sit on this long angle. This might be dangerous. Luff is going to just wiggle peek into this. Nice little jiggle peek. Doesn't even take much damage there as it goes through a wall. Able to get just that small bit of intel knowing that there is at least one on A site, but right now they're stacked three up. Full stack it is, but Del Taco, again, for the last few rounds, has been hiding in this corner. And I think it's been... It's been a favorite play, and Sarko, I think, knows it, so you're, you're going to wait. You're going to peek. 
You're not gonna peek, but you're gonna yeah, you're gonna call down your teammates, so Del Taco, don't please, please don't. Taco, we love you. Alright, we we won't we won't get to see it. But rest of Grand Valley still taking their time, dwindling down the time frame to about fifty seconds left, and the double peak. What a call by Elliot Tag just to say, yeah, we know you're there, we're gonna get this kill. Not only that, it's also a high low, so the ability is oh Sarko just kept shooting. Del Taco's Jeez. actually gonna find one. But again, they're favoring that B site, right? Spike is down on B. They try to fake out A, and it's just gonna be so difficult here Oof. as Auth and Jeetan just gonna uh, honestly simultaneously wipe out the rest of Grand Valley. And now I think is where we see the adjustment, right? It is the last round, but it should be a buy round for everybody on Grand Valley. You have the opportunity here to take it to 7-5. And Haven is one of those weird maps where it can be supremely attacker sided or extremely defender sided. It really just depends on the team comp and how they play the map. And unfortunately, it seems like Grand Valley is prioritizing a little little bit of mid control potentially over getting any kind of smart picks to kind of open up sites for them right and we saw that at the beginning with illusion getting those opening picks but now that that's been shut down not a lot has really been happening for them and and of course this last round does mean you're going to transfer over so maybe defensive is a little bit better for them but it still does hurt that they lost and uh, they lost this half in this fashion right oh okay that was <sighs> yeah that was a situation that was yeah. that was the situation i'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10 on the certainly something scale <laughs> because uh, i'm amazed sarko didn't pull out the knife by the way like i'm i'm very much sarko didn't do that yeah i just oh i'm flash i'm gonna sit in this corner oh my god there's a breach <laughs> on me i think it's one of those situations where valorant's a horror game you know yeah like you might get jump scared a little bit luckily you have the judge there so the shakiness of the mouse is you know it's steady it's good and somehow they don't clear out that corner because i mean i guess it's the killjoy utility that they were really focused on right and because yeah. of that and we talked about grand valley state being able to play off that utility so much together louisiana tech on defense did a excellent job in that second half mind you they did end up taking seven straight rounds at the end of defense so props to them regardless they did a much better job of playing off of each other's util and it clearly feels like they're much more at home on haven than they can seeing on breeze I think I think that's very appropriate to say, and I think that was the most important factor of coming to Haven, right? Uh, now, will this continue? I'm not sure, right? I want to see what GVSU can do on their own defensive round, on their own kind of setups, if you will, and what LA Tech can do on their attack, because their composition itself uh, does lend itself to very nice entries, but... Again, they have to chase into GVSU, right? They're the ones that have to chase into this uh, this defensive side. So for LA Tech, can they pull it off? And can they be confident in their own plays to land those uh, land those early first blood kills? I want to see one thing in my life, and that is five people running down at Del Taco right now, stemmed up like just madly. And we might <laughs> actually see it as they teleport out to B. And the A hit is called, and nobody is currently on site. There's going to be able to get two at least on before they're able to take on site. But this is going to be a lot of smokes right now. And Del Taco is just going to kind of rat in one. Arax is going to take out off, and this might be an opportunity here as they do not see anybody on backside. Del Taco going to find one. Jurassic's going to be able to pick off Arax, and the kind of back and forth Jeez. we go is Jeetan has been an integral part of the success of this Louisiana Tech the last couple rounds. Phenomenal shots, but now this is going to be the opener, and oh, Aleutian, heaven was not cleared, so the Angel rained down fire. LA Tech left with only one alive, and I mean, Sarko, you don't, you don't really have a choice here. Luff is able to finish it off in GBSU. Do a beautiful A site hold. Yeah, and it was it was a late rotate in. They're just able to go ahead and take care of site. Uh, Del Taco obviously sitting in that smoke, not giving the appearance that it's a little bit more free than it is. I think was a massive part of that. And this is actually the first pistol round that Grand Valley State has won in the entire match, like including Breeze. So that's something for them they improved on as well. We're gonna see a pretty big advancement here. Del Taco obviously going with headhunter bullets. We're gonna have a bulldog and three specters. Obviously that specter nerf not really gonna affect you at all on this map of Haven because the sight line's much, much closer. Well, all quiet right now. Louisiana don't wanna make too many moves, at least the fade uh, goes out, but no one actually fully in garage, lazy. He's going to eat that paint shell a little bit on the side, and Del Taco finds Jurassic. Del Taco now on the inside of B differently than in, uh, than, than the first half, so 
Maybe much more at home, but Oth saying, we know where you are. We know exactly what you're going to be playing. And we're going to try and force it. Here we go. Four man stack going in. Shots go out by those Hago. Still gets another. Now switching to the classic. It's a 3k. Four more bullets here, but it might not be necessary. A little bit of a turret jump. As a Lucian and Arax clean house. And what do you know? Grand Valley call their bluff in Louisiana. You did what you could. Yeah, you certainly did. I think it was that retaliation fault line that really opened up that retake, of course. Uh, the breach playing from B-Link, from the A-side, able to stun all the way through, and that just frees up Del Taco to pick off two for free, and then switch out to the Ghost, get another, so Del Taco ends up with three on that defensive side, and in a spot where it looked like he probably should have died, right? Like, that fault line, the offensive fault line, missed by a millimeter as far as where he was located, and Grand Valley starting to swing momentum back in their favor. Of course, the full buy here, though, for Louisiana Tech, we're going to really see how they do, of course, in this basically anti-eco situation it is that painful moment but del taco is just saving up religiously here i love it just going with a headhunter and as you said del taco is just a menace with it doesn't have to buy anything else and all you have to do is save a little bit of time so so far a's been hit b's been hit and for louisiana they're trying to cheat onto c trying to get at least a three two split through garage here goes a little bit of util going out again, closing off the left right side, but Cheaton gets one. Luff back in the corner though, ready and prep, so a 1-1 trade. Still lends itself to GVSU controlling much of the area, but Lazy is able to find dive and Sarko brings in Arax. Luff, I'm not sure he can hold it down, but Del Taco says give me a chance. Oh my god, the spray! Oh my god, Luff and Del Taco! No shot, them two just were able to pull that off. I want to replay. I want to replay so bad because it happened in a blink of an eye. I'm just confused because if I'm not mistaken, the cease was used earlier in the round. I don't think they would have been hit by anything other than getting spotted, right? There were no prowlers. There was nobody at half health other than like the fights that took place at the beginning of the round. Like I genuinely want to see that spray again from Luff because that was nasty. And Del Taco, of course, comes out and hits the final headhunter just to be able to get that down. And now LA, LA Tech on a save once again. And mm, Grand Valley swinging momentum back in their favor. This is so back and forth. Both these teams feeling extremely comfortable on their own. And off gets a great pick through a smoke to open up onto Luff. And they need that. They sorely needed that, right? <laughs> Losing three in a row. You got to have some positivity back in your side. Uh, and, and so to find that one lends it to, okay, we made a mistake back in that last round. We probably should have swung on that corner. Um, but Louisiana still, that was a brutal round to lose. So you get first blood, but GBSU still have a lot of power back in their own side. And Del Taco, once again, fully capable of holding things down here. And with that big rifle... Louisiana still trying to play it slow. They actually bait it out and call for the rotate over to C, which I do like. Plenty of opportunity to work with. They do get a free rifle in the back as well. And it will be GBSU trying to fight their way into C. Yeah, and it's a 4v5, right? One rifle on the side of Louisiana Tech, but the spike is down and every single second is valuable at this point. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this ends up working out. But look at this lurk right now. Raises all the way in attacker spawn and Jurassic's gonna find himself one at least as Arax is gonna be here right now. Swarm grenades coming out. Jeetan gonna be baited out of lobby, but Auth is here on the swing as well. Has an opportunity here, not gonna get the shot, but here's Lazy in a perfect position right now. There's no shot that they know that he's back here. Spike's still not tapped. Of course, it's mollied off. Arax gonna be here right now. Lacey is one. Can they find another? No, oh. but I don't think it matters. Is it half? But it's still gonna be extremely close. Oh, spicy. <sighs> 0. 0.5 seconds is the only difference in between that. And it was just bringing out the knife, unfortunately, before the swing, which caused the loss for Louisiana Tech. And now we're tied up, and it's four rounds in a row for Grand Valley State U. Oy. I mean, that was... <laughs> excuse me, that was a round that I don't think anyone was expecting to go that way. Um, just illusion. Dropping a casual 4K. Yeah, it's no worries. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's... I like it, right? And, and again, for GVSU, this is also a mountain they have to climb, right? The highest number of rounds they've gotten in a row has been that four. So they're going to try and do a bit more here. As long as they don't get their head chopped off, right? That was a nasty sounding shot. Yeah, Del Taco unfortunately not connect. And 
I mean, a lot of presence, of course, over towards this A site for Grand Valley State, but it doesn't seem like anything is going to be too sketched out yet as a lot of presence still towards garage, still towards mid. They're not fully rotating over to the site just yet. Spike has finally been picked up and they're still going to be lurking out mid. I think they kind of snuffed out run. the fact that there's a lot of I mean, honestly, a lot that's committed over towards a site and this ultimate's going to do a great job of just kind of bringing everybody in and kind of collapsing them as mm -hmm. the B site starts to get hit. I love it right there. That's going to be one. Oh, they actually got one player locked down and they do chase it out. Arax was hiding in the back cubby hole. So it's down to a 3v5 here. LA Tech rounding this one out and feeling much better about the situation. Very nicely played. Dive, though, able to find Lazy and... This is where GVSU start to have a bit of power, but shot goes wide. Illusion is still able to finish off Jurassic. And will they be able to continue fighting back, right? 11 HP on a single member, and in goes the orbital strike. Are they going to send it? Come on. Come on, we want to see it. There we go. Oh, that's what we were looking at. You're going to get halfway, and that's what you need, though. Sarko able to get one. Are you going to have a little bit more time? Molly goes out as well, but it's not directly on the site. So you still have a chance, and that's going to be a site. Does Hawkeye find it? Can you find another? You're going to look. Oh, you can't get the gun out fast enough. That'll be the finisher. LA Tech, a brutal round once again, but they will keep the lead. A lot of economy loss there, but I think at this point, you don't care about that. You needed to break nope. the momentum of Grand Valley State. You yep. were able to successfully do that in that round. And that's, I, I hate to harp and just beat a dead horse, but if that's the old tour de force, we might be saying a different thing right now. Because that, that pullout time plus, plus the shot, I mean, got reduced by 57.5%, right? Like it's, it's a regular operator now and it's treated as such. <laughs> and that's kind of the difference in those split second decisions, right? It's a great swing. It's a great decision to go ahead and do that after the tap, knowing that all they have on deck is that tour de force. And I mean, for, for Louisiana Tech, you got to feel good about taking that round, right? You haven't been successful really on offense so far. And this is looking like an extremely aggressive B hit right here. And I think everybody's just going to back off of this. And it's going to be a retake situation right now for GVSU. And no, it's actually going to be the Rolling oh. Thunder coming in. And can they get out in time is a question. I mean, they called that bluff so hard right there. Uh, I give them a lot of credit there for GBSU. They called the rush. They called that quick plant, and they caught them with their pants down. Of course, right now, this is going to be... Oh, another moment. Dive, dive. Don't do it to them like that. That was brutal. Heard the use of that use. So I think they're going to try and throw down some smokes, and dive called them on that bluff. They close it out hard. What a gamble. Oh, and it works out and uh it's just a hey you got games on your phone moment right there yeah unfortunately, for, uh, for brimstone you know it, it happens but uh i mean spike is at least retrieved right now it really just comes down to if they can figure out where uh, justin is oh. they're not going to be out of jeton able to get one right there it's definitely beautiful they might run on to the site here and just try to secure a plant which i mean honestly getting that plant money i think is the most important thing at this point because they are a little bit low on econ four rifles were taken out of their hands last round four rifles are taken out of their hands this oh. round the jump spot going to be there as well oh. a shot right there the counter straight by jeden now in a 1v1 versus del taco you have the opportunity to be able to put yourself up too Do you oh jeden with the 4k and he pulls victory out of the clutches of defeat Buck up and clutch up right there. Gene sent us into a fantastic moment. Exactly what Louisiana Tech needed. Holy crap. The one tap. The swing on the one tap was insane. Oh my lord. Louisiana Tech. That was that was gorgeous to watch right there. Gene keeping them up and alive here. And Grand Valley a little bit frustrated about what just occurred there. They're going to have to try because they fought so hard. And again, that was a little bit of a save round from them. They didn't have the econ, so a lot of rifles on the back end. But now that they do, Del Taco immediately laid into and opens up this A-side push for Louisiana. Oh, and it's completely free right now as well. You're going to have a breach in heaven to deal with, but that's not going to be too much as far as getting the plant down. This is going to be massive right now. Fault line comes out, doesn't connect as it's going to be a 4v5 retake right now and the power positions plus the killjoy lockdown coming out grand valley is going to have to delay this a long time and luff is having going to have to go absolutely massive here for the potential to be able to i mean even open up this site really oh man this is going to be painful luff you are not in the right place you get no kills i mean how could you you were blind the entire time 
Lazy, waiting around with a little bit of a paint shell in hand, and this should be the opportunity, right? 3v5, easy toss there. Lands right at their feet as they chase forward. Illusion, though, watching as you only get a one-for-one, one, and then Jurassic swings hard with the 3k. Dive able to find the back, but it's going to be enough. LA Tech, one away from game point, two away from forcing a third map. And... I, I really have to give them props here. And of course, the timeout going to come out from Grand Valley's coach here as well. But I just have to give them the props, right? Because you come in, you're doing a good job. You're sitting there, you know, I mean, Grand Valley had ripped off four straight rounds on defense. And you're like, okay, so we got to, we got to regroup. We got to find a way to just, you know, kind of just get our attack together, play a little bit more cohesively, be a little bit more polished with our utility usage. And they have just, minute after minute round after round looked cleaner and cleaner as this has progressed after those four rounds were dropped so i have to give massive props to these and tech for their mental game to be able to stay on top of this and not let it slip away it's gonna be very important 100 percent agree and just keep up just keep just keep swimming right listen listen to dory right just keep yeah. swimming keep swimming just keep running forward oh man this has been I mean, I love the adaptations that LA Tech are coming out with, and, and I can't wait to see if they continue to do so as well, right? On this attack side, they felt amazing in the last three rounds, and and I don't know what happened, right? They have not taken a timeout. I want to also point that out. I don't think I've seen Louisiana Tech take a single timeout so far. So the fact that they're pulling this off in the middle of round just going, all right, we're, we're going to do this now. Sorry. It, it's a crazy thought to me. <laughs> So, I mean, they could have used both the Grand Valley's timeouts to their own advantage true, as well. True, true. So... Um, def but not calling one after losing four straight rounds in the game being tied, that is, uh, that takes some stones. I'm going to put that as PG's possible. <laughs> yeah. That is, uh, that is quite take, a call. Takes some stones, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to get into this. Also, I just want to say that, like, I'm trying to speak it into existence right now. Pearl is our decider, guys. Like, we get to see two <laughs> off-meta maps in a row, potentially, or at least in one series. I'm definitely excited for that. As this I was about to say, Haven, Haven ain't off-meta there at all. Yeah, 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 you're right about that, as the site is going to get hit. Oh! I'm going to be able to find one. Oh! Actually finds two. That's massive right there, but Jurassic going to be chilling in this stem beacon. Going to have that increased rate of fire and that movement speed. I think the key right now now, look at all the post plant utility. You have two nano swarms. You also have the orbital strike, and you have Sarko doing nasty things like that in Jurassic. They just completely eradicate the flank. Oh, and you have a lineup. Oh man. Oh yeah. No, Sarko's got all the lineups. Are you kidding me? Like, there's no brainer here. You give it three, two, one, and it goes. There we go. That's what I thought. Oh, did they stop it? Oh, they're not gonna use the ulti. Arax. Yeah. You didn't have a choice there. Well done. They're on game point. I think we're gonna get it. I know you're saying you're gonna will it, but it feels like it feels like it was already kind of there, visionary. I think I think we're gonna go to that map three. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. I just wanted to put it out in the universe, so hopefully I didn't get cursed. You know, it wasn't just me that wanted to see Pearl as map number three. The, the whole <laughs> world wants to see Pearl played by these two teams that have been just so coordinated and so I mean honestly just so polished. I mean, obviously each team currently ahead or won their own map pick that makes sense to me but you look at the ult economy on both these teams right now and i really think to, grand valley has to use that showstopper right you have to find some momentum at the beginning of this round we're going to see a little heavy default and we're going to see a lot of presence towards mid and b right now as far as the defense goes as you see of course the rays rotating back through their spawn and they're kind of just hanging out back there it's kind of interesting to see as it's a slow lurk towards a of course for the offense they just big chilling <laughs> they're, they're biding their time they're just like all right yeah i mean we're doing what we have to here luff though was very far pushed up and i think the information is given and then caught in a little bit of a route and then the nightfall oh my lord luff took the roughest route possible to try and get back to safety but the nightfall going out and the fact that Louisiana say we're not going to uh, not going to run on that surprises me a lot here, right? So much spammed in that you hear that there's at least three and you don't aggress on that. They're going to use that to try and fake back or try and bait out a bit more GVSU. 
Yeah, and if you can bait out that utility, you're in a good spot because not only do you have the orbital strike for post plant, you also have the rolling thunder to be able to take sight. Are they gonna double fake this? No, they're coming back to it. Okay. And it's a combo utility right there as well. The smokes plus the rolling thunder. You see blast packs being thrown, just everybody trying to slow down the push. It's not gonna happen. Flashes everything. Illusion's able to find one, but gets taken down. And now it's gonna be a 4v2 retake. You still have the kill joint. You still have the orbital strike. That is so massive for this post plant. Unless something drastic happens, they have secured this they should be very proud of what they've done so far del taco last one alive i mean if there's anyone to make some magic happen it is del taco but i don't know how much magic you make here with a little bit of pixie dust off is going to send it 13 8 we're headed to pearl i am beyond excited about going to pearl i can't even begin to demonstrate to you guys how nice it is to be able to see two off meta maps in one series and between two teams that are so coordinated with their utility and how we're going to get an idea of how they're going to be attacking pearl personally i have no clue what comp they're going to be running are we going to see double controller are we going to see more triple initiator i'm just so excited for the future and last matchup orbital i i want to see harbor i don't care what anyone says i want to see harbor i want to see harbor come out of here i I honestly, the one or two times that I've seen Harbor, it's, it's allowed for some of those uh, initiations or those entries to be very fun and, and to be very quick as well with those walls, with that extra cover, right? I like it. I, I like Harbor, and, and it's pro. Come on. Why, why aren't you going to do that? If you don't, I'm going to be very disappointed in these teams. Yeah, I'm also, I'm not disappointed. I got to give a uh, shout out to Sarko for, you know, getting the highest ACS on a, on a controller. <laughs> uh, on a brimstone no less so uh sarko you played your tail off that game that's definitely big shouts of course we're going to be bringing you map number three here it is going to be pearl in between louisiana tech and grand valley state university but we're going to give ourselves a quick breather as we get ready for map three so stick around you're not going to want to miss this standing one enemy remaining spike one enemy remaining last player standing one enemy remaining Comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like to have? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir.
Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on share mood I mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset I mean, I've tried everything Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hello and welcome back to ECAC Esports. My name is Visionary One. Alongside me is Orbital, and my God, have we had a barn burner of a series in between, of course, uh, Grand Valley State University and this beautiful Louisiana Tech team who was just able to come out, win their map pick of Haven, and it looked, it looked like it was going to be terrible for them on attack for the first four rounds. I mean, uh, Grand Valley, our Grand Valley State University just came out, did work and won the first four and the game was tied and we're sitting here like oh is it gonna go away from them on attack and we just saw the beautiful use of utility combinations having that killjoy actually be effective on attack so many good things happened and we get to see pearl which i think might be the second time orbital that i've seen it this entire season of ecac yeah, I have not seen it too often here, too. And I just want to say huge props to Louisiana Tech, right? Because we can talk about how they played the utility just as well, if not better on Haven, if they were not calling out the rotates, right? Even when they were a, a step behind in some of those rotates, they still look clean on the re-entries. It's the fact that they're mental. Um, I just want to point that out because Breeze was a little bit of a rough time. You hop into that second map and you're taking down four. It hits hard, and the fact that they never took a timeout and just kind of gathered themselves and pushed themselves forward, I think is a very appropriate way to put it. Louisiana Tech very much put GVSU into a spot where they themselves were flummoxing. Oh, yeah. All right. Everything. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Thank you, you Love. Harder. Love saves my day. <laughs> <laughs> love going with that harbor del taco actually switching over to the jet we are going to see the double controller on the side of course of grand valley state opposing that we have two initiators a controller a sentinel and a reina sarko i don't know if this is the largest heat check of all time or if you have a plan <laughs> for this but sir seeing a reina on this stage on this map i think that is something it might be a bit of a risk, but we'll see if it pays off. I mean, both teams have one duelist on the line. That's pretty standard. Although I feel like we see a lot of rays here just because of the ability to clear out those nooks and crannies that exist on Pearl. I think that's pretty vital, but we're going to be seeing Arena and a jet. And I can't wait to see Sarko and Del Taco just going at it here on Pearl. <laughs> I know you want to, but I'm still eyes drawn to Luff. I still want to see no. this Harvard do work. I don't care. We're, we're going to see who shows up more, I think. This is going to be great. I'm super excited. Of course, we are in 
to the final game. Just laying down the stakes, right? This is Louisiana Tech on attack to see if they can take themselves into the semifinals. These are two teams that have been upsets over and over again in this playoff so far. Yeah, it's an 11 seed versus a 14 seed to see who makes the semifinals. This is massive already to begin with in Del Taco here. Look at this peak, a bunch of jumps, and he's like, nope, I'm going to play my life. We're going to be smart here. I have a sheriff. I have no cover. We're going to play back here. We're going to play the long angle and see if we can find anything. And Sarko is going to be right here as well. And we're going to have an ion sheriff duel potentially to open up the first attacking ground. You know what? Go ahead. We'll have some fun. And B-Sight here, this is, uh, it's always surprising to say, but B-Sight always seems to be like one of the favorites for the, some of those fast pushes just straight up the line. Uh, just trying to get that angle in. And Jurassic is just like, bro, you can't let me have this opportunity. It's going to be Del Taco, though, to close it out and put it into a 3v3. 10 HP on Jurassic. Couple eyes laid out here and slow, slow rotate. Lee's lazy, allowing Del Taco to get killed here. And that's when I think Grand Valley are going to be kicking themselves forward. But Arax making it difficult. Still low HP on a few. Or at least actually healthy. Still no plant though. Gonna go for that plant one time. Good blind goes out. Now gonna be a swing, but look to your left. Arax finds it. Can't get a kill though. Gonna try and swing back in with Illusion. Illusion has stuck all the way around. He's gonna find it. Gonna be a kill. Look for one more. Still the plant carrier. The spike carrier is there. And oh, the shots go out. Oh, so close. Both of them are swinging so close together. Oh, it's the opportunity of a lifetime. Do you go for the ghost? Oh! He's able to land the shot. Louisiana Tech gonna take the first round there. And that's all because of the lurk down B link by Lazy. Without that, you don't pick off Del Taco. You don't get the opening onto site that you were looking for. And Lazy is able to just clutch it up. That is massive. And what a way to make a statement in round number one. I'm. <laughs> These teams, I feel, maybe have not actually prepped for Pearl. I wonder about that because that looked that looked a bit messy and fun. But I, I'm so excited. I I don't know another way to put it, but this is chaotic to say the least, right? We don't know where some of the frags are going to come from. We don't know what the players are really deciding to do. It just feels like they're kind of picking and choosing, and it, it's chaos. It, it's chaos to me. I love it though. So taking a look here, Luff is chasing forward, and again on this harbor is just trying to give a bit more space to the rest of the team. But Jeeton just swings hard and says, "I don't give an absolute crap what you're trying to do. I'm going to force you away, and we're going to take this B side after going mid. Beautiful job again from Louisiana, giving themselves a large amount of space in GVSU. I mean, with only pistols, you're hoping for at least one or two more frags." Yeah, you got to take some of these specters out of the hands. We're going to see if they can find it here. Luff, of course, checking that left side. They're going to dual swing this in mid link. Illusion playing up in heaven above B. And here's the swing. It's going to be Luff getting one, but getting traded out. And Lazy's going to get two of them. Del Taco wins one battle with the Sheriff, but that's really going to be it. I would almost bet unless Del Taco pulls some greatness out of nowhere here with the spike already planted, everything bearing down on him. And not to mention a flash. Good luck, sir. It's going to be off with the closeout. Louisiana Tech going to go up 2-0. And this time, they don't get thriftied. They don't lose the anti-eco. And I think that's massive for them moving forward. I don't think they lost a pistol so far either, right? They're, they're still... Are, are they 5-5 five, five on pistols? They're 4 out of 5. Uh, four out one of five. pistol was taken by Grand Valley State. In on, uh, the second half. Right, yeah, second, second half. second half on Haven. I, I don't even care. So 4 out of 5 is ridiculous. Um, yeah. That is chaos. I, I, I love it, though. They they still show so much prowess. And this time, it's actually lazy. So lazy, not being so lazy this time around, but has been a driving force in some of these rounds, right? Has been very uh, authoritarian. Authoritarian, ter yeah, I can't talk. But has been on the top in some of those initial rounds. So this time around, kind of stepping up even further, saying, hey, I can do work. Just give me that opportunity. Currently sitting on five. And zero, mind you, as well. So he's he's definitely doing his job, staying alive, especially as the pivotal smoker with Astra. You do get four opportunities to smoke or use that util. And they're doing a great job of it so far. A little lurk coming towards Art right now. We're going to see if they can find anybody. Unfortunately, the Prowler not going to spot anyone in this map control might be taken up this might actually be dangerous here there's oh. the shoulder peak there's multiple here they might be able to team swing it though they have the opportunity the flash comes out so Ooh. does the cascade it's a great combo of utility they're going to completely shut off everything from mid they're going to have an opportunity here now to retreat back to sites and play a 4v5 what a beauty of a frag right there slowing things down to a snail's pace 
Louisiana Tech did not they wanted, and now they're forced to rotate into this A site. Low late rotate on the side of GVSU. You can see the Jet and the Astra trying to make their way forward, but they're gonna run into some issues. It's a quick call from Louisiana. They say, hey, maybe a rotate's coming, and oh, they're gonna check the door. Dive, dive, what do you get? You get one, you can't get two, but it's enough to give away the positional aspect. All three of Louisiana trying to rush their way to safety. The Jets going to be right there, though. This is Del Taco given an opportunity to clean house up. Long range. Sees one. Gets a headshot. Beautiful shot. Want one more, though. Is going to be the plant behind the box. Can't find much more. Illusion is going to find Sarko. And there you go. Poor Killjoy in the back corner. Can't do much more than watch. GVSU keep the status quo. Not only that, they get to hang on to four rifles here on their on their third round that is their buy round right so if they lose more rifles you know you're kind of going in with a scuffed buy louisiana tech obviously on the bonus going to have full util this round full economy basically going into it it's very very important and the only person that you see kind of on that struggle bus right now is dive and i think maybe somebody buys him a specter or he might just buy a sheriff and see what he can get out of it we've seen dive make a bunch of plays with all oh. the different kinds of weaponry today and somebody's actually going to purchase him a bulldog so they're going to go into this with basically full everything minus that bulldog and really try to shut out this louisiana tech team i love this buy i love the aggression from grand valley state they're trying to assert a little bit of dominance here and show that they are the better team with rifles i love it no reason not to and this is going to be the hard push. Louisiana like, bro. We tried all the other angles. This works best for us. Hard chase from everyone. And the Cosmic Divide is going to go up as well. So, LA, just go and give us a moment. We'll set ourselves up. Complete Divide as they give themselves complete control here. And Grand Valley going around, going on their own. But keep in mind, that lockdown is probably going to come down here. And it's going to be so annoying to deal with if it does come. And, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting to see. Is that Cosmic? Okay, Cosmic Divide finally goes down. And now here comes the retake. The harbor wall, though, is going to cut this off. So three members of the team are going to be separated from the rest of it as it goes in. We're going to see a couple trades come into sight. Spike's already going to be tapped. Somebody getting pulled away from the spike there. And a great frag right there oh. by Auth as well. The cascade going to come out as the wall drops. And one spotted there, oh. Sarko, has the opportunity. Shoots down the wall. Utility can still go through that, mind you, as Auth and Jeeton going to combine. That is a magnificent hit right there from Louisiana Tech. I don't know what's going on with LA Tech, but they got some level of confidence that I don't, I don't think I saw before, right? Like, that is some aggressive pushing, and the retake was so powerful. The retake defense was so powerful on their end. That B-site just seems to be their home. GVSU have not found an answer for it so far, and LA Tech, they're, they're saying, look, we've, we've conquered B. Let's try and go for A this time. And again, because of the low util that they currently have for GBSU, it should work. They don't really have any guns in their hand. Yeah, I mean, we've seen crazier things happen, however, but I mean, the Killjoy is going to basically stifle any kind of push that they have onto the A site. However, they're still going to be able to hold on to, of course, uh, secret kind of back there and the other side of A as well. So it's not going to be as quick as Del Taco able to pop one with knives and able to get out of that killjoy. And it's just pandemonium oh. right now. Lazy is going to find two, but Del Taco is still alive. And I think that's the most dangerous thing. Jeez. As they're going to pick up the thrifty. And there's the answer for Grand Valley State University. Visionary. I'm, I'm you know, I did say I like to be proven wrong. I'm yeah. not sure if I like getting proven wrong this often, right? <laughs> then I just look like a bad caster. Then I just look like I don't know what I'm what I'm saying, which to be fair is true, but we'll we'll skip past that part. Right now, GVSU are playing like they're scrambling for life, which is I want to say a proper way to say it, right? Like they were scrambling for their lives right there using that knife, uh, the blade storm to come out here. And they give themselves a breath of fresh air. The fact that Louisiana are actually downgrading their purchase, even though they could up by, oh, maybe they're glad they did because Del Taco just absolutely took their head off. Oh, and here's an opportunity right here, but Lazy going to find two with a Spectre? Wait, what? I told you, Spectre nerfs don't matter as much. Oh, okay. Okay. That, yeah. uh, Del Taco takes yeah. those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is... Both teams are kind of skill checking each other at this point, right? Like, they are absolutely, there are no thoughts except kill. <laughs>
Great lurk coming from Sarko, though. Gonna find one and potentially a rifle as well as they kind of gave away B control as they had the spike in mid. And unfortunately, nobody there to cover the back. Is Sarko gonna be peeking? Oh, no! Sarko, the flick. Do you have another oh. one? Doesn't get the no scope, but there's two there. You're gonna have the dog coming out. And actually, the Trailblazer doesn't hit. So there's an opportunity. There's a world where Jets heard the where the, the Killjoy wins this, but not when you're trying to put the plant down. And unfortunately, just not a lot of time left. Jeegan gonna get taken down, and we're gonna see 3-3 three, three on the back of Del Taco's operator getting three kills that round. I, I'm telling you, it's just chaos. There's no thoughts behind their head. There is no macro. It's, can okay. I hit this shot? <laughs> can I get this kill? If I do, then we run this direction. I, I That's what I feel like right now. Of course, Louisiana, it was a little bit of a save, so they were working with the lower end purchases. Uh, we saw the stingers. We saw uh, we saw the specters come out here. So eyes are eyes are on them, right? Three ultimates are in their pocket. The nightfall, the uh, null command, as well as the empress. So these are again great site clearance tools that they want to use if they try and push a single site, or they can try and lock down GBSU who are currently compiled directly in mid and are trying to find their own windows opportunity. Three flood in from Louisiana. They are going to try and take those mid entrances. But Dive completely stuffs them. And Dive some... Oh my gosh, Illusion. They had to be blind for that shot, right? As Love actually going to get taken out <laughs> as well. But I mean, I the the Leers don't have ranged uh, requirements anymore. They go all the way nope. down. So I think unless they were holding a crazy off angle, that's going to be there. It's like going to basically be shut down by Del Taco's op. They're going to have to push through the smoke. And everything else just kind of gone by the wayside. And the map control heavily in favor of Grand Valley State University right now. At this point, I'm just assuming everyone has some sort of code on their computer. And they're just they're just trying to one-up each other, right? I, I just, I just kind of gave up on it. They are all playing at an exceptional level. And everyone takes almost a moment to kind of pop off here. And I love it. They, they just, all right, you get this round. I'll get the next one. And then we'll try for the third between the two of us. That's all they're doing here. Right now, though, I am a little bit worried about Louisiana Tech. I do dislike whenever I see uh, teams trying to slowly work their way with only 30 seconds left. It feels like they're forcing themselves into a dire situation, and they are going to have to rush this, right? 15 seconds left, they have to get on the site, and they walk right into Arax's arms. Arax cleans house on three, and you can even see it. They're going, yeah, that was a little bit of a rough maneuver by LA Tech. Yeah, and I mean, and it also comes. We have to, we do have to talk about the way the nerfs and buffs, all to a lot of the cast, were affected. Right? These might be mm -hmm. slightly different comps. Like, I, I, I personally feel like Del Taco would probably still be on chamber if, if you know those those nerfs hadn't happened today. But favoring that mobility of the jet plus the blade storm over the slower operator when you can still op with jet, you know, and it's be successful with it. I, I think maybe we need to cut the teams just a little bit of slack as they try to aim duel each other out here just because they might be trying to <laughs> fill out new comps as well just due to what's Absolutely. going on with the meta and how new it is on this patch so definitely want to give a shout out to both of them here and i you know what i'm a lover of chaos like give me the elmo with the flames on fire behind him <laughs> gift. that's exactly what i want to see and honestly that's what this series has been so far and i want to continue seeing it orbital Oh man, we're we're both in the same boat though. I I love it, right? Both a lover of chaos. Both a lover of throw everything in the kitchen sink and see what lands. And I mean, considering the number of ultimates we currently have available, I don't think I've seen this many before between these two teams. We currently have seven ultimates ready and raring to go. Like if we don't see at least one use here, I'm gonna be very surprised. Arax is able to find off while Jeeton takes their own head off, and that is a crazy setup there. Del Taco though, still opping, still giving us a taste of what for. And LA Tech going, all right, a site, not an option. <laughs> Absolutely not. The funny part is Del Taco actually started this round on B site, had enough time to basically just pander all the way back over to A and just take all the time he wanted. And now they're worried about him still over there, even though the fact that obviously that op shot was on A, they're worried about the rotate. They're worried about him coming in. His illusion is basically solo holding the site, willing to just play retake, right? There's a lot of angles you can attack this from, especially in a 4v3, especially when you have gun advantage. The gun advantage should be working in their favor even more so. And yep, Del Taco's on one. They want to extend this lead a little bit more. Around the corner they swing and no kill for Del Taco. But it is going to be Luff and Illusion to finish off the last two. GVSU. It's taken them some time, but they have gotten back in the swing of things. 5-3 right now. Here in this first half. And I think it's going to continue. GVSU feeling a bit more confident. LA Tech though. 
You now have eight ultimates. You got to start rotating some of those out. I would love to see Louisiana Tech throw out a fake here, right? Like, use that Nightfall on eight site. Like, really commit to it. And then swing back with the KO alt on B just to be able to buy yourself some time and a little bit of space as well. Because Del Taco is shredding right now. He's 11 and 3. He's been hitting his op shots. They are nice and crisp. And you have to do something just to get them off site. So it makes it a little bit easier for yourself to come through and take the site yourself. And so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if we're going to see that fake. But right now, it's not really looking like it. But you got five ultimates. You got to throw something somewhere. And look at all the mid control that is held by Grand Valley State right now. They are calling the bluff of LA, uh, LA Tech, right? LA Tech, they tried to throw down on B, but trying to flood into mid instead. It was a gamble, and now they're going to get checked, but Lazy is able to find one, able to close things out in the mid. Now trying to find a few more gun duels, but not really finding purchase. And again, no ultimates being used. They are not willing to throw down this gauntlet, and I think Grand Valley are going to be very happy about this situation, but take a look at that A site. Look at the hard rotate coming out from that Killjoy. And there we go. Lockdown goes supreme, but because they drop it, we know what LA's act like to do. It's going to be a fake. They go, okay, let's go ahead and start rotating back. Del Taco has not left that beast. I just, oh, I got proven wrong. Come on. Yeah, the caster curse is going to come out, but he hears it at least, so we might be able to get a shot or two down. Good. Of course, Nano Swarm going to come out as well. Del Taco is going to find Jeez. off, taking one out, and Sarko just lurking back with the Empress right now, trying to get that backstab. He's going to find it on Illusion as you see Del Taco coming back for the battle with the Blade Storm. This is going to be massive as Jurassic plants down right now. Jeetan going to find one of their own. A-Rex obviously understands that there's a crossfire being held. Not able to touch Sarko, but Del Taco oh. going to find the quick scope on one. This isn't Call of Duty, no. man, but Jurassic and Jean going to be able to close it out. We're going to go to five to four, and they finally remove the operator out of Del Taco's hands. Unfortunately for them, though, he's got 8,850 <laughs> bucks, and he's buying another one. Easiest buy of their life, right? Del Taco's like, you took one, I'll, I'll get another, but... Well done by LA Tech, right? Being able to grab back against that power. Only using two ultimates, right? And, and I actually expected three. I expected the Cosmic Divide to go down to allow a quick push again. LA Tech in the last few rounds have not been able to quick push at all. And it's because they haven't been willing to sacrifice that B side now that Del Taco has been an absolute menace. I still think it's feasible. I still think they can do a fast push on either side. But again, I, I digress. I keep going over. Beating that dead horse over and over again. They are going to take that mid, this time with no aggression from Grand, Val uh, Grand Valley here. Jurassic, though, might be the only one that spots the one. And it is Dive that, unfortunately, is on the short end of that stick. Taking a blind. And now going to find Illusion. Sarko goes down. What a bully moment right there. And not only that, the ability to like not over peek it, right? And not trade out as Jurassic is trying to exit. I really like the idea there. Is cheating? Oh, my God. Was that a team flash that just happened? I think so. <laughs> that's a yikes from me, as that's going to be a good nightfall as well. But Jurassic is going to be found instantly off of it. So they're not going to be able to capitalize on that, minus the space that it creates as the members are at half health. We're looking at this right now. Plant going to go down, of course, on the A site. You still have the null command. It gets popped. You still have, I mean, honestly, just block off back site at this point. Make Del Taco forced to peek you. Asher, you got to use that just to buy your team some time, or you can hit the most massive flank of your life. We're going to see which one comes first. <laughs> the flank is real. Give it, give it, give it. Lazy is going to go in. Defender lockdown is going to use, but guess who's got the flank? Light it up. Knock him down. Lazy ain't so lazy. <laughs> that is, that's beautiful right there. The map control, just the awareness to go ahead and take it. Understanding that once you pop, the null command that everybody is going to be just running towards that tri site, trying to fight it. And you just go, I mean, you just walked all the way back through B, like not a care in the world. Oh man. I'm just, again, very impressed with these two teams. Uh, GVSU and LA Tech are taking us to absolute town, right? It is, it's going the distance, and I love it, and the fact that they're pulling it out here on Pearl, once again, just solidifies the fact that these two teams have done so much work to get to this edge. No matter who comes out the victor, I think both teams can go home very, very happy with how they played here tonight. But neither team is going to give it up. I, I even have a feeling like we're going to go into OT with just how aggressive these two teams are, uh, and how they're starting to get a little bit more desperate for some of their victories.
Yeah, I mean, both teams are going to be pushing forward, and obviously we have two rounds until the switch, and we'll kind of see things settle out maybe a bit, but both these teams basically not playing defense at all and just trading Haymaker for Haymaker. I definitely love to see it, as you're going to see, of course, the uh, the zero point come out and spot Del Taco. Here comes the the Astro Wall as well. The, uh, the Cosmic Divide, a nice flash going to come in. Del Taco Ooh. has to bail out. And Jeetan and Luff going to trade blows just a little bit there as it's a 4v4. The plant is going to go down. And I really like the use of Astra here because, I mean, you can cut that off with the Viper, but you can't cover Heaven with it. Luckily enough, that Cosmic Divide is able to do that. But the Harbor Ultimate as well going to come Ooh. out here and just make sure that everybody stays moving and is going to be difficult ahead as all this Astra util is about to be dumped. I mean, it has already been dumped, and now you're going to throw down a bit of your own here as the orbs go up for the jet. But look at that recon. So much information given back. Jurassic pushing up a little bit further, but it is taken out. 2v3 left alive here. Luff trying to fire in the long range, but blinded out here. It is Louisiana doing so much work to keep him at bay, and they find another pick. They have to clear out this last member. Auth has to be taken out if they want to get the full diffuse because now you're body blocking. Del Taco is able to fight it, and they do clear it out with three seconds left. But my gosh, did LA Tech not make it easy? It was a bloodbath. It was an absolute bloodbath. And un unfortunately there, I understand the need to shoot Del Taco. You're on low HP, but I would almost take the gamble just to hope Del Taco whiffs, which doesn't happen a lot, obviously, and try to kill the spike plant there. Just because, I mean, yeah, you can spray transfer to the other. They're covered by some smoke, but I mean, you get them off the diffuse, you have an opportunity there. I think there was like two or three seconds remaining. You, you might have had a chance to end up winning that. But hey, you know what? I digress. It's a close game. <laughs> There's decisions to be made. Sometimes you may not make the right one, or you could just tell the caster he's wrong. I love that too. That's always fun. <laughs> but uh, we're going to see a little bit of a rundown action from Grand Valley right now. And I mean, we're seeing those cascades come out pretty regularly, right? And I really like the way they're taking map control behind the cascades, even if it's just on a site, even if it's just being overtly a little bit aggressive because you know they're on a save. Doesn't really seem to matter. I like the fact that they're being aggressive here. It's the last round of the half. No reason not to be, right? And dive is going to wait again in this corner pinch. Take some random shots here just to give a little bit of a scare to LA Tech. And LA Tech, again, pushing up B. So this is what I said I wanted them to continue to do, right? This is a squad that loves to kind of be aggressive on that edge. And it, it's working out well for them. But, of course, they have to clear out the util. Is going to pre-fire that corner. Auth isn't really going to find anyone, so you know what? Everyone is safe for the time being. Into the store they go, into the middle of sight. They decide to plant. It's going to be directly out in the open, but inside that long piece, the mid-long, Sarko finds Dive, and GVSU unfortunately lose in the opening first blood. It doesn't matter, though, because Sarko is traded out almost instantly. You have two back here playing the back of sight. And, I mean, it's so similar to hey, or to uh, Ascent B site, right? Where you have oh my gosh. kind of Boathouse and Jeetan. What a flick that was. My god. Just absolutely wiping Del Taco from existence. As Luff going to try to throw up the wall here just to get the retake. But uh, Jeetan? Are you, are you good, bro? Jeetan? <laughs> That's a 3k just camping out in the back of sight. Like, go ahead and challenge him if you try. The turret's gonna see everything first and he's just gonna swing off of it. I just, that's massive right there from Jeetan to be able to get that. And we end up at 6 6 and half orbital. Uh, it's just so big. Like, we're, you said overtime was a possibility here. I cannot agree more. I'm loving it. I'm loving the fact that these teams, it's just, it's just random moments like that, right? Uh, the fact that Jeetan's hiding in the corner and uh, Del Taco was the one to round that corner and be like, there's a lot back here. Let me process this. And, and uh, Jeetan said, no, really nice job. And then the fact that we're having, you know, uh, Grand Valley, they didn't have the opportunity to set up that reentry as much as they would have liked. Because Del Taco was supposed to be that driving force, right? Del Taco was supposed to get in there earlier, get around that back corner and clear out that edge. What's going to happen? So now on their own attack, we are going to see if Grand Valley can do something uh, and take a lead. And remember, four out of five pistols have gone the way of LA Tech. They've been very strong in that sense. The second round, not so much, but, you know, we give it, uh, we give it the benefit of the doubt here. We certainly do. And I, I think one thing that I have to hit as well for Grand Valley State, I mean, obviously, it's just taking the overall competitive numbers that are there. But here. Pearl has been a little bit attacker sighted. I think you're still happy with the 6-6 six, six here. As long as you're confident in your offensive ability here, I think you're definitely happy with that 6-6 six, six as they collapse on Art and A main. A little bit of offsite play right there, and Lazy Ooh. has just been a menace to society this entire map <laughs> so far. Just 
absolutely fracking out on the controller it's insane to see del taco here playing a very aggressive angle not going to be spotted though this is going to be curious who's going to win it oh out. my gosh lazy. lazy is done with everyone else's laziness right said all right screw it we're, we're gonna go on sarko picking it up as well and as much as arax is able to take two flushes it might not be enough right you're still looking at low hp on that sky and Lazy's going to go for the Diffuse, so LA Tech in a perfect spot to be in control, but because you're juggling it and because Dive peeked out, it will be the finish. LA Tech win their fifth pistol round of this series, and GVSU will again have to play off the back foot. Uh, I, I don't have many words here because typically, I mean, there's, there's numbers on it, right? Like when you win two pistols, I think you win the map. Like, I think it's like 68% of the time, as far as competitive Valorant goes, like it just gives you so much of an advantage. However, the second rounds for Louisiana tech have been the question mark, right? I think it's been two out of the five we've seen so far have succumbed to thrifties basically to all classics. Now, obviously we're going to see taco buy a sheriff. I'm not surprised there. Love deciding to grab one as well with the Harbor. So a little bit different here, a different look from the force or a small amount of force coming out from a Grand Valley State University here. But I mean, they've already been here before, right? They lost both pistol rounds on breeze. Didn't really seem to matter. No, they, they didn't care at all. Right. Now I, <laughs> Again, it's just that is what we were hoping to see. So LA Tech coming out with a bit more fire and spunk uh, with those angles. And, and GVSU trying to hightail it around those sides. Del Taco ready to go. Misses the first shot and that leaves Jurassic again with a phenomenal headshot. Two kills is more than enough than LA Tech need. And Auth is going to find Luff. And, uh, and mm, it's going to be dangerous. Arax is ready to go. But Jurassic, I mean, it's Jurassic. It's Jurassic. Oh, Arax though. Arax cheated a little bit further. That was good. I was I was expecting a jumping right click there. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see it. But the problem is here that you're just going to get pinched off. Lazy's going to be able to get one here. The spike is down. And if you, I mean, you can't save at this point if you're Grand Valley. You have to die. So we're going to see who they're going to succumb to here as the spray comes through the box. That's just beautiful right there and dive. Basically just holding on for dear life. Gets one wow. right click into Sarko, but it's not going to matter. It's going to be Louisiana Tech taking the second round right here. Of course, of the switch and on defense right now. 8-6. I said this was offensive sided. We're going to see what Grand Valley State can do with a full buy here in round number three. And I feel this is where uh, Harbor tends to have a little bit better time, right? You can cut off a few more lines of sight, uh, depending on the site that you want to go to very, very quickly. And it allows for this uh, bit more faster, uh, faster movements, faster decision making uh, through there. Right now, though, LA Tech are preemptively getting ready for it. Hiding off in this deep corner, and I don't think Sarko has done it before. I don't think we've seen really anyone do it before. So really, really deep angle here and going to be ready to go. But Del Taco was ready for it. Really nice job to find Sarko, and again, here it comes. Just a hard rush into B. Same thing that LA Tech did before. It is now working for GBSU. Yeah, and the beauty of that that harbor, the uh, the orb, right? It has the shield. It can secure a plant for you pretty well as long as nobody's on site. You're going to see the wall. It's going to form a question mark through site as well. We're going to see how much <laughs> that services as Del Taco scrambles for his life and somehow gets away. Now it's going to be Jeetan again. We've seen some crazy clutches before, but the heal comes through. It's going to be Del Taco at full health, and that is going to be uh, Jeetan in a turret versus five rifles, and that typically doesn't go well. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, I will say the number of times that you were able to pop out around the corners, uh, Jean survived way longer than they probably should have. So, yeah. Very, yeah. very well done here, again, from the side of GVSU to keep it at standard. And now we get the gun round. So this is where it's going to be really important for GVSU. Most notably, take a look at some of the ult economy. Arax is sitting one away from the ultimate charge. Del Taco is sitting away two. Luff is sitting two away. So I'm really hoping Arax is able to pick up one of the orbs and we get to see kind of that flow out with those seekers gives a lot more detailed information to where LA Tech are currently set up. But they're cheating again. They're not so much cheating, but just kind of headstrong here saying, look, we like B. B feels much easier for us right now. They're going to cheat long and just say, okay, we know there's one. Let's go ahead and try and take him out. Yep, and we're going to see 
A nice flash come out, of course, the flash drive. Not able to get much off of it as Del Taco, not gonna miss that one. Auth gets taken down and removed. That's one rifle down right now, and we know Louisiana Tech right now, but the Empress being burned. They are really hurting for economy right now. This is gonna be extremely important to get them through as the full flash oh. comes out. Everybody and their mother sprang, and it's gonna be Del Taco finding two more. Has a 3K, might be able to find an ace here potentially. It's gonna be Jeeton, able to return one. Oh. He's gonna find a beautiful headshot into heaven make that a rex for two it's the triple double three for del taco and two for a rex there to tie this up at eight to eight full houses man full houses win yep. all the time you gotta love it and gvsu played that exceptionally well again chasing in as hard as you can not allowing uh la tech to kind of route themselves properly i will always favor teams that play with aggression once they feel they're in their uh in their own flow state right if they feel they can hit those shots and they're playing aggressive, I like that setup more than just waiting. I, I don't know why I just dislike watching teams take too much time giving an opportunity to the opponent to uh, gather their thoughts or or, or uh, set themselves up properly. But GVSU, they're chasing an A and calling it correctly because LA Tech took the 50-50 and they're swinging all four and one in from the B side. Cheating, you gotta get yourself out of there. He is able to survive <laughs> with his life and a Bucky in hand, but this is a phenomenal job just by calling the bluff. Grand Valley, I mean, they understood that, hey, they're on an eco. We've seen them stack quite a bit, and we're just gonna take a chance. We're gonna hit A and see if we're right. And it was just because, you know, they had been pushing B so much before. Maybe they expected a little bit. Oh my Jeez. gosh, Odd's gonna get the return on dive, but that was a phenomenal job just on the swing as I mean, Sarko, there might be a world where this happens. Still two remaining. Bucky trying its best, but unfortunately it's 850 credits for a reason. You know, you tried, and I think that's more than you could ask for. In these situations, taking at least two guns off the map feels okay. It, it feels okay here, and Auth is actually going to save, which is the appropriate call here. GVSU, though, storming into this second half after losing the initial two. This is appropriate, Auth. <laughs> Auth is like, if no one gets a weapon, uh, I'll be very happy, but you're able to carry the Vandal over. Grand Valley, though, we have to talk how they're coming out with a little bit of fire in their backside as well, right? Taking things online, and you said it, Pearl, a little bit more on the attacker favored, so let's see if they can pull it off, right? They are going to try their hardest to continue this momentum flow, and they have the perfect composition for it. I, I do believe this, with Luff uh, in there as well, with those walls, with some of that extra uh, safety getting the plan down... They really just don't have to worry about too much. Del Taco has been an absolute menace. 22 frags so far and doesn't seem to be stopping at all. Yeah, that's in 17 rounds as well. And we're looking <laughs> possibly for more, of course, as Del Taco looking to push the issue once again. Still has that dash online. Did get zero pointed, so only has it for about another second. Going to dash through these Astros. Doesn't matter. Seeker's going to come out as well. Try to get some information on where everybody is. Looks like there's three, but look at that beautiful harbor wall on site right now. I mean, the high tide is going to be there as well. Oh, You're going to get so the cascade good. coming through. Everything, just literally Ooh. everything is cheating. going to find one. Oh, it's actually going to find oh. two. Okay, so it oh. looked like a pretty setup, but that's everybody pretty much gone, and it's dive alone. What? No, no, Dive can't do this, right? Dive absolutely cannot do this. That's going to be another quick tap. Can't find the kill. Almost taking him out, but you're going to go, and that's going to be the defuse. So, you know what? I, I did. I, I feel my uh, prediction was correct. The initial plants are great from GVSU. <laughs> the retake defense maybe not as strong right now. <laughs> Well, I mean, the wall the wall was gorgeous, right? It cut through all of heaven. It cut through all of below heaven into the entrance, right? And you saw the angle of it. And because it's allowed to be curved, you saw it actually cut off a bit of B-Link entering B-Site as well. And even if that happened, it was just all off, taking everybody back from, you know, the cubby and the backside of B, able to go ahead and go through there, take out two and really just bust that open. And we're looking at a lot more action towards this B site. Really feels like they just don't care. They're like, you know what? We're just gonna assert dominance. We're gonna go for it. We lost once, it doesn't really matter. Here comes the cosmic divide. They're gonna have pretty much a free site plant unless somebody decides to push through this. And here we go once again, straight on to B site, Grand Valley State. I, I just think their composition dictates that they do this over and over again. Whether they win or lose, Auth is going to send down that Null Command because they already took out the opposing Killjoy. So GVSU going to have to wonder what they do in this 4v5. 
He goes a bit more damage as Arax is taking about 10 damage. Off on the back line, though, gets a phenomenal pick on Luff. No more walls, no more safety. And the defender lockdown is going to be so important here. This is LA Tech calling an absolute bluff. And Del Taco can't do anything, right? Such a beautiful job done. And now a little bit more of a stargaze, but they can't do anything, right? Beautiful job by Louisiana and Dive. Rightfully so. A little bit of a laughing face. That got out of control way too quickly. Yeah, and I, you're just running down the barrel. You're basically running down a shotgun barrel, right? Because you understand the Louisiana Tech. They, they found you out last time when you had full utility. They found you out again this time. And now the economic advantage is starting to pipe in with Louisiana Tech only needing three rounds. They could potentially buy off two losses here with the exception of Sarko, which I'm sure they'll just toss him a rifle at some point and let just Sarko try to do work as Reyna because that's all you really can do, right? Is take those duels and take those frags. We see this coming down and it's going to be another B site hit. And they tried to call the bluff on A on the save and it hasn't come through yet, but off oh be my gosh. Find one. And it's just a whole ca tidal wave of people coming back on. A ton of smokes. A Rack's going to find one right there. And they literally don't care. They're like, we're going to try B. We're going to beat that dead <laughs> horse and just continue to try to plant this down until we can actually win the round. I, I feel like. I feel like I'm both right and wrong, and I'm going to say it over and over again because I love the fact that Luff has been a key uh, marketing piece of this. Just continue to send out the walls and the orbs, and they're just like, yeah, play B. We're not even going to try A anymore. This has been a single-sided map, at least on this attacking side, and now Illusion is going to find a single frag. 4v3 still, though. Luff sending out a couple more orbs and is going to chase in, but Lazy is able to pick it off. Arax is going to find Jeeton down to a 2v3. Jurassic trying to swing around the side. Who do you find? You find no nothing. Cosmic Divide is not going to save Arax there. Jurassic needs a little bit of extra time. Down goes the wall. A couple shots go through. You get the turret out. Fake the fuse once again, and now an orb draws you in. Perfect shot for dive. I mean, just... I, I I value Grand Valley stubbornness so gosh darn much. They're like, <laughs> nope, last two rounds, you know what? We kind of threw them in our opinion, right? We kind of threw those rounds. We're going to go right back to B. We're going to force the issue. And I mean, you see Aleutian has money for just about everybody here. Del Taco, one out of seven, used the Blade Story a couple rounds ago. We still have Seekers. We still have the Killjoy lockdown. We have the opportunities to be able to take B-Site again. The question is, are they actually going to do it? But, I mean, it's there with the Empress being the only ult on the Louisiana Tech side and nobody exactly close right now. I kind of worry about the ult economy drawing maybe a round or two in favor of Grand Valley here and potentially ending this match. I mean, they could, but Sarko's going to try and trade it out, so... You said it, right? No one else is really close, but you're going to try and make the best of it. A great first frag. Great Empress call for the first. And then Jurassic able to find one more. You swing and almost get Del Taco, but Del Taco was ready. Dive able to trade it right back. So Sarko, no Empress left alive. And as you said, it is going to be those Seekers up and alive if they so wish to pull it out. LA Tech, furiously in a 1-1-1. One, one, one. It's going to be difficult to save any sort of rounds, but it should be enough. GVSU, three strong, chasing into B. Lazy on B though. That's he's been the menace to society. He has been the standout player for Louisiana Tech. However, the seeker is gonna throw him off of his own angle. So the plant is gonna be secured. However, this plant spot not really conducted for anything, really, to be honest with you. It's really hard to hold these positions. They're gonna have to play aggressive to be able to hold here. You're gonna get a flash into B Link from A Rex. Not gonna find anything at all. They are grouping together right now. You have one in heaven, you have two down below. They're ready to make the push. You got lazy coming in with the smokes as well. And we're gonna see this take happen. Right Right now, as Jeeton opens up with a frag. Beautiful job, but Arax was ready. And now on the other side, you can't get more than one. So down to Del Taco. We know what Del Taco has to do. Do you have the will to do it? You get one, but Auth. Auth was good for it. It was a good attempt, but LA Tech, they're the first ones to move into 11. Visionary, is it going to be done? Are we going to get the mini reverse sweep? Uh, we might. We <laughs> might. I still want to see overtime. I want this game to last a little bit longer. Just personally, but I, I'm staring at this right now, and I think the key to this round for Grand Valley State is you cannot have Illusion die first. You still have the Killjoy ultimate, but now Jeeton has one online with a great performance from last round. So you're staring down, you know, the, basically the Venn diagram of of Killjoy ultimates, right? The beautiful, okay, you ulted, so I'm gonna ult, and we're gonna see what happens with this. And I'm really excited to see if they can use it. But when Illusion keeps dying early, you'd probably like to combo 
those seekers from last round with that killjoy ultimate right just to secure the plant Ooh. as arax great opening frag right there able to potentially push on this a site and there's still a couple people kind of lurking and that attacker killjoy going to flush everybody out here as well Jeetan is not going to retaliate this is probably going to be a spike plant right now for grand valley state but Oth is able to find dives, so on the back end. But again, losing, losing Sarko, who has been a pivotal fragger for your team, hurt so early on. And now you're going to have to play it out. Illusion waiting off on the edge does have a little bit of a swarm ready to go. But, I mean, here we go. So that's going to be a call down with that Nevender Lockdown. Everyone is using theirs, so... It's going to come down to just a frag out. It's going to come down to a frag out. Del Taco able to find Oth, which is hugely important. And now they're forced in. LA Tech gonna bum rush in to try and get the site. Jurassic is on it. Dragons is on it. Are you gonna get it? No. Good spray by Arax. But look at Jeetan. Jeetan says, get out of my absolute town. It is a 3k for Jeetan. Now you're gonna try two on your own. Delsaka able to find one for one more. And you do not get it. Delsaka didn't finish. No. One more shot. Are you gonna find it? You do get it. Oh my lord. That was so wait, wait, freaking wait. close. Oh, I thought he had just popped the blade storm on accident. <laughs> he did. He absolutely did. I, maybe he used it at the beginning of the round? No, no, that was, I think that was a push at the end. Oh, God. Okay, well, Del Taco, you're still cracked. You're 27 and 12, but yeesh, that might have been helpful. You know, anytime you run out of bullets, anything, I mean, Bladestorm, ultimate precision, you get full running accuracy. That's something huge. And we see Grand Valley right now stacking up B site. And they're looking to hit it again, but the aggression coming out from Louisiana Tech, they are ready for this and they're ready to fight for their lives for this to come out. I mean, it is, because I mean, whoever wins this round is on match point and they're calling it Grand Valley. Say, hey, we know what you're hiding off. Was caught out in the corner. One was left alive, though. LA Tech already lazy, down with only a pistol. I'm trying to run away. You're down to 20 HP. You can't stay here any longer. The Seekers have kept you out of harm's way now. And Grand Valley, they get the plant. We know how this goes. It's retake time for LA Tech. They're not on the best amount of guns right now as well. Sarko holding a Bucky in their hands. Now, m grant you, this is a save round from Louisiana Tech. They are playing for 12. They're willing to give up this round. I don't really think it matters, though. They definitely want to have this one in their hands if they can find it. Sarko getting picked off from the late lurk from Dive. Arax and Del Taco going to find a couple of their own as well. Oh. Dive going to clean it up, and it is a flawless. So not only are you on 12, they get to carry over all their economy, all their guns into this final round. And we're looking at it right now. And this is either the make or break for Louisiana oh. Tech. And the timeout <laughs> to potentially ice them as well. Grand Valley is going to talk about this attacker side. I love it. I love when teams do this. And icing is not something that you see in esports. I think that is very... Um, this, is, this is very conditional to FPS games, right? Like Valorant and CSGO. This is the only time that I think you'll ever hear anyone talk about icing players. The fact that you're going to go ahead and pause on top and Grand Valley are just going to talk about their strategy because they've been hitting B super hard. I, I don't care what anyone says. If you didn't notice that they're hitting B almost every single time, you, you haven't been watching the series. LA Tech, though, this should terrify them. The idea that they've been hitting B all the time, well, where are they going to go now? Are they going to keep going B or are they going to go A? Are they going to go up mid? Are they going to go a wraparound through a defender spawn or anything like that? What are they going to do? This timeout here could be the difference between Grand Valley going on into the semifinals or LA Tech pushing to OT. And the thing is, there's one ultimate on each side and they both make a massive difference, right? We do have yep. the, the null command to shut down that utility, but if they're going to just run it down B again, the cosmic divide is so massive for being able to get the plant down, right? So we're looking at this. It's looking like a B stack. We have Killjoy over there as well. Illusion going to be lurking here. Actually, it's going to be a 2-3 split, and Del Taco is going to have an operator on this, potentially looking to call oh, the somebody chase. Oh, the Oh, my man. gosh. They're right in the wild. face of each other. Yep. <laughs> they both oh, spin away. God. Yes! <laughs> they both run away from the first engagement. <laughs> they know there's too much at stake. Nobody wants to lose their life first. <laughs> both teams, three players and two players just staring down at right now. And Del Taco is going to be sitting here on this angle that we've seen so many times. Going to take a little damage. There comes the Cosmic Divide. Now the question is, do they fake this out? And the answer is going to be no. They're going for the plant here. That was by far one of the funniest things that could happen here. And the fact that no one died just yet leads it to even more chaos and an even more tense moment. Grand Valley deciding to back away all the way. They are saying, no, we are not 
going to do anything about this just yet spike completely out in the open nano so i'm going to slow them down orbs are down so the lineups have to be perfectly cut and clear lazy is going to go for that defuse del taco is going to find us so that is huge again and illusion goes down or illusion doesn't go down they find lazy they find jean sargo is going to get the revive but look at the fight love love the harbor let's do it love it is over gvsu take the series Oh, the late flank comes through and denies yes! it potentially the best overtime yes! that we could have seen. And you are just giddy with excitement right now that Harbor is the reason that that is closed out. And I do not blame you, my man. That is what a series. I, I'm lost for words right now at what we witnessed, right? Because there is so much back and forth. Both teams basically in the 12th round just throwing haymakers at each other. Yeah. And I mean that figuratively because obviously it was 12, or, you know, 12 11 as well. But like figuratively, the last round of the boxing match, everybody's exhausted and they're just trying to punch each yeah. other in the face as hard as humanly possible just to see who's <laughs> standing at the end. And, and, oh and then there was just my. Luff with a little sneaky liver shot. That's what it was. It was oh. a sneaky liver shot around the edge. And I, and I will say, there was only two times in the entire series that we saw a flank of that nature actually take off. And that was entirely, right? We saw one from LA Tech. I believe LA Tech back in, I want to say, game one on Breeze, pulled off a sneaky flank. And that's what gave them one of their fun rounds, right? The fact that Luff decided to go for that at the very tail end could have been disastrous. You are lined up. Everything is lined up for being long. I just want to say that is a crazy call. The fact that no one looked was glorious. Beautiful job overall from both teams to give us such a fantastic series. I just, and I mean, honestly, if you're Louisiana Tech, I got to tell you, hang your head up high because this was oh, yeah. one heck of a series. It's only a best of three. I almost wish this is double e limb just so we could see more <laughs> of you in this tournament. But hang your head up, man. As a 14 seed, you made it to the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, though, your road does end here. Congratulations, of course, to Grand Valley State University. Oh, my. The blue team here, the A team, the varsity team showing what they can do in Del Taco really making that difference there at the end i mean 29 frags four first bloods definitely massive as far as entering into those sites and being willing just to take those opening duels but I, everybody I, everybody was playing just their behinds off and i can't even i can't even begin to think of where to kind of start with this because it was just back and forth across all three maps i mean breeze kind of more heavily in favor of g uh gcsu but other than that haven and pearl were just back and forth chaos and i loved every minute of it I think the fact that GVSU are still willing to play that chaotic style because at the end, you know, the rush, the rush, the rush. Being single-minded is not something that we see in Valorant too often, right? Uh, the fact of the matter is they started going 50-50 on that. And most teams would have said, okay, take a little bit of time. Just wait, you know, try and test out other sites. That's actually the normal thing to do. You see teams that they lose out on B site. Okay, start testing out mid. Go for the defaults, right? Play 2-1-2. Two, two. Just look for a frag. Look for an opener and then go for a site. No, I have never seen a team draw another opponent into just all out gunfights on a single site. I've never seen that actually work. And the fact that they pulled it off in that sort of situation makes me so happy because they made it into the semifinals. If they're able to do this against other top teams, it's going to be a hilarious circus uh, circus performance by everyone. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. They, all, they already did this. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, they took true. down the three seed um and i i can tell you from experience of casting this team this is how they play they are aggressive they believe in their aim and they're going to sit there and fight it out and versus the scarlet tempest red they were able to do this in two, towards a 2-0 i think this was much closer than that one for certain and at the end of the day it's just gvsu just that stubbornness i guess you could say they got that dog in them you know they were able to pull it out 13 11 with that being said, though, we're going to be looking for an interview from the winning team. Obviously, that is going to be Grand Valley State University. While we're doing that, guys, we're going to give ourselves a break because we've been at it for a solid three and a half hours here. And lots of lots of amazing matchups. And we have to come up with our questions because we definitely have a lot of them through that series orbital. So stick around. We're going to be right back with an interview as well. Right after this.
enemy remaining. There. Round divided. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two rents, they was sleeping on me, homie, must have got two bit. On my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Uh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards, is real Hello, everyone, and welcome back to ECAC Esports. Of course, my name is Visionary One. Alongside me tonight is Orbital and my brother in Christ. We just saw <laughs> this a massive series. Three games all the way drawn out. 13-11 on Pearl. We got to see Breeze tonight. We got to see Pearl. We got to see solo plays. We got to see Flanks. We saw everything under the sun tonight, brother. 
we we did. We saw the highest highs and the lowest lows and everything in between. And I, and I'm excited to see what the players have to think about it as well. Yeah, absolutely. So alongside us tonight, we do have Aleutian. We're going to be bringing him on. Of course, the the kind of master jack of all trades, master of none. Y'all y'all switch roles so much, it's a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. But it's definitely fun to watch. I can't I can't disagree with that at all. So obviously, I just have to ask you, you've beaten this team before in Red Bull Capitals Clutch. You come out here today. Obviously, you're a little bit familiar with them, but not too familiar with them. And you take map one, which is Breeze. It's kind of been y'all's pocket pick going through the playoffs so far. And you're going into Haven. And you said this beforehand, but I kind of just want to let everybody else hear it as well. What's going through your mind after you take round one? So we took map one pretty convincingly. And, you know, we got to remember that it's our map. So going to the next one, them picking Haven, for us, it's like we, we're good at Haven. It's usually one of our best maps. Now, I think realistically, if we had more time to adjust the patch that actually just released today with, you know the chamber nerfs the, there's a bunch of micro adjustments i don't know if you guys have read the patch notes but um it actually it took us two killjoy alts to realize that you can't breach aftershock it anymore like so we'd sit there and we'd be playing like oh yeah we can we can break it and then yeah they buffed it to 200 health so you can't aftershock kill it anymore so um, just those, I think those little things are kind of what contributed to us losing Haven. In all honesty, I think Luigi and the Tech played a pretty good game though as well. I don't want to like discredit them in any way, shape, or form, but you know they came out as more prepared and um, around a team on day three. That's just kind of what happened. But after Haven, oof, uh, I don't know. Things are kind of quiet because we're usually good at Haven, but um, and we don't like Pearl. I'll, I, was that like the? I think it's like the. Was that the first Pearl League match we played? Oh, uh, second. We, well, we got before. blown out by Maybe FIU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Pearl is not something that we really liked. And with a Chamber nerf, too, like Chamber is almost not viable on Pearl. Actually, I'd argue to say it's mm. not. So we just had to pretty much put up, put something together on the fly. And our knight in shining armor, and I'd have to like highlight this player as well uh, on the harbor. Yes. Um, yes. Like, in all honesty, he plays a lot of harbor and ranked. And, and when we literally, like, going into Pearl, we didn't even have an idea of what we wanted to really run. And so um, we let. Uh, Deltek, Clay, Jet, which he normally is obviously a Del chamber player, or Del Taco, sorry. And, um, <laughs> and then Luff goes, should I run Harbor? Why not? <laughs> Why not? I was just, let's see what happens. And, uh, you know, it really worked out. I, I honestly think our attack makes, it makes our attack a lot better. You, there's a lot of timings that you can do. And also having a double controller allows for just more flexibility, late round hits, stuff like that if you get picked off. So I think it worked out really well. And if I had to highlight one player, it'd definitely be him. I think him and Del Taco definitely pulled us through on that, uh, that map there. Yeah, and and I gotta ask specifically with that game three as well. There was, you know, the rest of the game felt a little bit more spread out, having a lot of the other sites being hit, and then in the second half of Harbor, it, it felt like something shut down, and it was just all eyes on B, nothing else uh, on the wings. There was that a strategic choice, or was that just like we're not too comfortable on this map, but we feel confident on the B side, and we're just gonna run it over and over again until it's broken. So uh, once again, left. Who is our IGO? Uh, you know, we kind of identified that A really wasn't working too much. Our mid takes, we sometimes got mid control, but B side is a really, really hard to hold on on attack or on defense. Sorry. So with us having double controller, we have Astro Poles, Killjoy Mollies, Killjoy Turret, and usually one lurking. Like, if we get bombed down, unless they have an Astro Alt and KO Alt, there's nothing that they can do to stop us. So um, I think it's just. That's the first thing is there's not nothing that they can really do. And then second of all, especially going into that uh, second half, Del Taco was getting a first pick every single round and be long. He'd, he'd fight by himself. He'd fight with the team. It didn't matter. He would get one, two, sometimes three. And so, like, it, it was just working. And we just did it until it didn't work. Um, and I think the only time that we really didn't go for B is when we knew that they had an Astra and a KO alt to immediately stop it. So, um, but yeah, that Del Taco was just running out and we literally just let him do it, I guess. He was hitting his shots and getting the picks. So why, why not just let it, let it keep going, you know? 
Pokemon. Yeah. Follow that, uh, follow that roll, uh, rolling momentum there. And I'm very curious if, if it weren't for Pearl, what were you hoping to actually have at the end? Because I'm curious. It sounded like you really didn't want Pearl. There was a lot on the line. You're just like, no, 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 not Pearl. Yeah. If you could switch it out, I mean, what would be one that you would? I think Fracture, um, Fracture or Icebox. Definitely, yeah. I Fracture Icebox would probably be ideal. I think we would have taken Bind over it as well, but you know, uh, it's just. Pretty much every map, except a set. <laughs> so, like, no, a set. No one wants to do that one. Yeah, no, it's yeah. It definitely, when I when I heard what the map picks were, uh, I was really hoping we just close it out in two. I don't. It's not even like that. I was worried that we're bad at pro. I just don't like playing it. If it's ranked, if it's yeah. match, I don't enjoy the map. So we did what we had to do. Keep moving forward in playoffs. That's just how it is. Yeah, well, I mean, it's been it's been a phenomenal job, of course, by you guys. I mean, just that nail biter of a series and also coming in, you know, as as the 11 seed taking down that three seed as well. Like y'all have already made the noise that y'all needed to in the tournament. I know we talked about the circumstances that led to that in the first round of the playoffs. So I'm not too worried about it. But I mean, for y'all to come out and make it this far and have that opportunity to play, you know, those top four teams that are there. Uh, is there anybody you're really gunning for that you'd be looking forward to playing? Obviously, you know, your side of the bracket making the semifinals you're either looking down either playing jmu or friars valorant have you do you have any experience playing against those teams honestly no i think in all honesty to be yeah to be completely candid i think the second half of the bracket that fisher boise side is what's looking a little bit more actually did boise lose yet or they, i'm pretty sure no, fisher, boise's still in it yeah so fisher and boise those are two very competitive teams i know fisher is actually i think third ranked on vlr so definitely like we'd have to work on some stuff before we play fisher uh, but i think any other team we have a good chance of winning. so i like i said i like to keep our confidence up i think we're a dark horse as far as ecac goes and We've already proved ourselves to be a pretty good team in uh, NECC as well. So um, it's just, like I said, we just got to keep our head down. Don't want to get too confident, but hopefully we'll win out. That's our coach right there in the background. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I definitely love hearing that. Obviously, you already shouted out love. Is there anybody else you'd like to shout out? Anybody watching at home? Anything along those lines that you'd like to give thanks to before we close it out for the night? I know it's finals week for you guys, right? So there's a lot on y'all's yeah. plate, too. If I had to shout out one person other than love, because love really did keep it together. Oh, I think yeah. I probably have to do Beto, uh, or sorry, Del Taco. He has like a million names, Del Taco. <laughs> Beto, he just stepped it up. Like I think that last map, especially, actually just all around the entire map, he was getting kills. Defense, he was off incorrectly. On attack, he was getting entries. I don't think this game would have been even a remote possibility to win if he wasn't killing the way he did. Then also uh, Arax, he had a slow first two maps, um, and he just absolutely showed out when it mattered most. And, you know, when I was kind of slumping that last map, I don't think I got a kill for like probably seven rounds on that attack side. You know, Ito and uh, Arax were both just getting a bunch of kills. So, yes, those two for keeping us afloat. That is for sure. Well, Lucian, I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure getting to watch you guys' gameplay. Now, twice in the playoffs for myself personally. I'm glad I got to do it with Orbital tonight as well, getting to show off that. So thank you so much for having us tonight. It, I mean, y'all's gameplay is phenomenal, and I'm definitely excited to see more of you guys in the future. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's one more. And that's pretty much going to do it here for us, Orbital. I'm going to kind of hit you up and see if we have any closing thoughts about this series, because obviously we have about a thousand more questions we probably could have asked just with how close this was. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll just say this. I'm proud. I said that the harbor, I wanted to see the harbor. I'm glad to hear the team also uh, believed in the harbor as much, but... My gosh, the fact that we're in quarterfinals and we're getting that close of a game, I'm very excited. And the fact that even uh, for GVSU themselves, they're like, we still have another step up, right? We still have more to show over and over again. That gives me a lot of hope for the semifinals and the finals here. So I can't wait to see even more uh, later on in the weeks. Yeah, I'm right there with you for sure. I mean, there's so much more Valorant to be coming. Of course, throughout the week, we're going to have more quarterfinals. We're going to have semifinals. 
I'm just ready to be able to be a part of that. So I want to thank you, of course, to Esports U and ECAC for having us on tonight. It's always a pleasure working with everybody, especially production behind the scenes. Shout out to you guys for keeping everything together. And guys, just stick around. I mean, there's so much more going on. We still have Rocket League tomorrow. We still have Fortnite. We have Overwatch. There's just so much happening right now, especially with the season coming to a close. So be sure to stick around. Watch your ECAC Esports here on Twitch. There's going to be so much more. So everybody... Thank you for joining us. I hope you all have a wonderful night. It's going to do it from us. Peace. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like to have? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu That mean I got goals, that's real big Foes, that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows, that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset I mean, I've tried everything Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for